go. Chat, we went down a horrible rabbit hole. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. We're actually ending the stream. Bye. <laughs> we do bathe together, but then we don't talk to each other after that. Um, Pat said that um, salad was for bitch people. Am I wrong? Well, I'm not bitch people and I don't eat salad. Therefore, I'll be dead by the time I'm 50. Hell yeah. Same. But I like salad. But I love Chef. All right. No, no Treadmill? I was a barmaid. What? You know what? Salad is what my food eats. <laughs> not I wrong. used to try that excuse. It doesn't work for too long, though. Messy. Hmm. Perception check. Is it to see where the trail is that we're supposed to bring this campaign back to? It's a high DC. Oh, Tesh is here. Stop talking about him. Tesh, we did not talk about you earlier this session. Tesh, I heard you cried because a freaking brain ate your babies. Scott made fun of Tesh. Tesh, he wouldn't let us kill babies in this campaign. We tried. It's cool that you got to do it. We tried. <laughs> Esh, I'm so sorry. Instead, instead of us getting to kill babies, Scott drowned them. Yeah, all the babies got drowned. In a lake. Sorry, Tesh. Can you believe? <laughs> yeah, it was it's kind of weird. It was an underground lake. I heard it was frozen. Bye, Pat. <laughs> Fucking look, Scott one of us gave gave me. Kicked down. <laughs> <I don't laughs> It, winter's coming, so I'm sure that lake will right over, you know? Come on, Scott. That was funny. Ha ha, funny. <laughs> You're laughing. Okay, I don't care. It's a good thing Brittany's not watching the stream. She's too busy watching. I know she's being sketchy. I meant to her. ask you on break. How, do you have the HBO stuff for like the HBO Plus where you can watch the movies and stuff? How much is that? X? Um, I don't pay for it. Somebody else's password. Wow. <laughs> There's my aunts. I want to get it so I can watch the new Godzilla movie when it comes out. Oh. It's so. Godzilla is that big one. Um, I'm so fucking guy, right? excited. Yeah, the big Harry Potter. Yeah, 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 big, big. Yeah, the one like that destroys Iron NBC. Man. Yeah, 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 the one that destroys NBC. Um, yeah. <laughs> that comes out in like a week. No. Which, it, like literally, it comes <sighs> out in a week, which I'm so excited for. I'm so fucking hyped to see the big monkey kick the lizard's ass. Nah, dude. Wait, are we, King we, Kong's gonna die, bro. Who are we rooting no, for? King Kong's gonna kick the lizard. I'm rooting for the big monkey. But, but why? Godzilla, dude. Because he's a big monkey. Are you kidding? So in Freddy vs. Jason, who did you root for? Yeah. Freddy. The audience. Because, like, I didn't watch the movie. The, the, the premise was dumb. Yeah, the I never premise watched is always dumb in Slashers. So There's like always Alien, boobs. Alien vs. Predator. Didn't watch that either. It's, it's another dumb one. I yeah, actually enjoyed Alien vs. Predator. I thought that was pretty good. But like, I voted for Arnold. <laughs> I liked Alien. He was in there, right? I don't think he was in the, the crossover one. Oh. I played the game. It was terrible. Also compared to most of Hollywood, the Alien vs. Predator, it seemed like Arnold was the alien. So. You know, from the alien's perspective, they're both aliens. Um, I think the alien is still the alien because, you know, if they're on Earth, that means... Wait, so is the Predator the not an alien? Well, if the Predator comes to Earth, they're still the alien. If a mouse goes outside, does it become a rat? My, no. If I no. Go to Did Australia, you guys see... I'm still an alien. Yeah. Did you guys see the, uh, the rat plague that's hitting Australia right now? Tess, you know about this? I watched a video of it. I, I, I did it's not. Just, this God guy has a grain very, farm. Very interested in this. He didn't even let me sleep in game because of the rat problem you guys are experiencing. He, uh, there's this guy who has a, who I, sh I saw a video. Oh, it's mice. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's, uh, this one what guy's grain inside? farm. If they're outside, they'd be rat. Ophelia's probably uh, food. I'll be right Well, it's because they're so small. They're mice. And, uh, yeah, so he, he, like, goes outside with a camcorder, and literally there's thousands of rats running around. Like, they look like bugs. Because they're just scurrying everywhere in every direction, and they're everywhere. And apparently, it's due to like 
like the the heavy rain season or something like unexpected heavy rains in this area so they're having like a is, is there a food shortage with it or fires. is it just all the fires oh, yeah, they had last the fires year too yeah they're having uh they're having the flooding really bad flooding this year yeah because because <sighs> all the the ground is loosened up and like so their water so, has nothing have a food to problem? like slow it down Tesh, is there like a food shortage? Or are you guys good on food? Is this going to be like a natural they like disaster they got thing? They tons of camels. They won't have a food problem. Camels. Australia In has Australia. a camel problem. Mm -hmm. They it's have a true. camel problem. Tesh, tell, tell me, tell them. Australia Tesh is like, fuck, I, gotta, I, I don't know. <laughs> He's like on the Wikipedia page for Australia's camels biggest issues. Camels were imported into Australia and they've like taken over to the point where they like damage people's houses and stuff. There's a camel problem in Australia. I thought sure? there was like the kangaroos. one thing people down there was talking about. We're talking about when we were there. Farmers are getting their stock eaten, but not a food problem. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Bree, we get the 17 year cicada. Did any of you guys live in the cicada, the 17 year cicada zones? No. We're about to have this, like massive amounts of cicadas. Yeah, we, every 17 years we have crazy. Yeah, see, no. camels are a problem. I thought, I thought this happened a couple of years ago. There's like six different mm. 17 year cicada batches or whatever. Okay, I gotta look them up. I think I was, they I only that happened just like uh, they like only hatch ago, like every seven years or one, something. Ohio, Cincinnati, we have like, I think we have two different ones that hit us here, and one of them we're due this year, and then one we're due like three years from now or something. That's cool. I wish I could see that. Like that'd be wicked cool to see. Because it's gone in like four days or whatever it is. Is it like a map of where they're gonna? Oh, there is. Yep, not in Florida. I'm good. How no? Yep. How long does it last for? Wait, isn't isn't it like four days or something like that? I mean, the cicadas last as long as cicadas last, but. It depends on where like you a week are. Of it looks like, like just finding shells roots. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could see that. That'd be super cool. I have a map. No, I mean, like, I'm not going to drive out there. I remember as a kid, it's... like, running around my grandparents' like cabin and collecting all the, like, cicada shells. The like, Cape. A baggy of them. There's a whole yeah. bunch of them. So Scott, worry. there's a big cluster on the Cape for you. Is there That's really? That's it. Do they come yeah. to California? No, not typically. No, no just no, I think they do. We don't know what the fuck cicadas are here. No, I thought you guys did around the LA area or something like that. Rarely. Like, I mean, very rarely. Every 17 years. No. Here, I'll put it in uh, our private chat. There you go. That's the map. So you can see there's a big blob on the cape there near where Rhode Island hits Mass's little tail. Mm hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. And that's brood eight. No, brood thirteen. Sorry, bad math. Brood thirteen is that right? That looks right. Yeah, brood thirteen. Or are they squares? So what brood year does that? Squares. What year does that go off? Uh, brood thirteen. Um, is it thirteen? That that that's is fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen or fourteen? I can't tell if it's squares or circles. Either way. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, the green that's on Cincinnati. I can't tell which one that is because it's literally just. Just green. <laughs> Just a green blob. Yeah. I didn't know we had a purple one, too. Maybe we have three that hit us here. I don't oh. know. Either way, yeah, the, the cicadas are pretty crazy. Yeah. It's know. really loud outside. It's, it's really, like, disconcerting because you go outside and, like, there's not much night noise except for all you the drowning noise of all the cicadas, like, making their, like... Oh, you know, so the according to this... Only Brood X, only Brood 10 is going to be popping up this year. Yeah. we Well, I mean, I don't know if it's only one each year, but I know that we've got one hitting us this year, then there's like another one in two or three years. Well, there you go. If you look at where Cincinnati is, right? That's the greenish-brownish area. Um, green would be, what, in a bunch of years? Like six years or whatever it is. And if you're looking at the brown one, that's in a couple of years, and the pink one is this year, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think Molly's ever got to experience the crazy cicadas either, so this will be a first for her. I forget. Do you guys get Black Widows where you guys are? Technically, but I've never seen one. I mean, I'm pretty oh. sure we technically have Black Widows here too, but you don't ever see them. We get them all the time here. I killed one two days ago. You know where they like to hide? Scorpions. You, you, you know what the, the where they like to hide, which sucks for me, is underneath my handles for my... uh. For my trash bins. Oh, I always have to work love when I take my trash bins. Yeah. They're in Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and southern parts of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Huh. Uh, Black, Brown recluse, recluse, sorry, recluse. and Black Widows are both 
Both there. Fair. Due to the movie Arachnophobia, I can't wear slippers happily or comfortably. Fun I fact. Mean, wait, you have arachnophobia? No, no, the movie. There's a movie called Arachnophobia oh. where there's a spider that like hides in this old dude's slippers and he puts his slippers on, it bites his toe and he dies. Yeah, but in the same, I've like never been comfortable wearing slippers. In that same movie, that movie, a spider crawls up from underneath your toilet bowl. So do you not sit on the toilet anymore? How do you catch your poop? No, you catch your poop when you stand it. <laughs> you poop standing <laughs> and you catch your poop? Scott, once you yeah. hit like 500,000 Twitter followers, you have people to catch your poop for you. Oh, oh my, my, my apologies. <laughs> How do you think I became Wade's friend, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we buy special custom gaming chairs with holes cut in the middle. Oh, hey, dude. Yeah, oh, I was talking about it, that. Jesus. My apologies. I didn't I didn't realize. Oh, cereal skits. Like... I remember the cereals. I remember all the arachnophobia scenes. That movie was the worst. Is John Goodman in that movie? Uh, John Goodman's Maybe. awesome. Hey, you know, you know who John Goodman's not in? Is our D&D games. Oh, is he not? But we yeah, are, no, but... and we're in the hot tub, or we're out of the hot tub. Something happened with the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, we all went to bed, we had a good night, and now we're getting up. I have a level of exhaustion, so we didn't all have a good night. We all had a good night. Everyone that mattered had a good night. Oh, okay. Well, Messi, I didn't see your uh, roll result. So um, you rolled a perception of a 14. Uh, yes. Messi, you actually do are, are able to get a good night's sleep um, <clears throat> well, that was there. You unfortunately, okay. you did, um, um, in your dreams, though, you do, of course, hear occasionally in your dream, not, 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 not awake, you do occasionally while you're sleeping hear, in your dreams. Cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm hearing, <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of, um, anyways. Rats also shit after they're, um, finished? Go on. I know Scott does, but I didn't know if the rats did. Oh, on, I feel Scott. like you should be wearing. I should be wearing my T-shirt that's from um, uh, Flight of the Concords that shows like a rat that's dead with its head caught in like a mousetrap, and like another rat standing behind it being like opportunity. So, I love that. I love that shirt. Brittany got it for me years ago. Um. Anyways, so um, I'll show it to you sometime. So um, the uh, away on the couch. <laughs> Everybody wakes up the next day feeling great, um, uh, except for, of course, uh, uh, Derb. Um, and you come out and can start kind of like with your daily tasks. I don't know if you guys have like an order or an approach or anything that you wanted to discuss or immediately jump into, or if it's just like, nope, let's just start looking about. I'm not doing anything important today. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I would probably try to break. Dorian tried to reconvene with uh, Italia and ask what she wants to get done today. Um, so, uh, Italia, you're kind of coming out, and one of the things you might notice about Italia is that she looks, well, somber, but refreshed, which is nice. Um, you she know her well enough good. that you can get, You can see that she looks refreshed. Maybe it was the bath that did it for her, and the fact that they actually laundered all of your clothing for you. Um, they tried to stitch up your clothes, but, I don't know you what know. you look like when you're not covered in blood. <laughs> It's interesting. We're all just like, you're a girl? What the What? Girl? This whole time? Woman witcher? Girl witcher? Oh my god. Every time any one of us points at the fact that she's a girl, in my head, I always hear the honest trailer guy being like, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the B E W B. Yes, yeah, I know I exactly do. what you're Boob. talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in like yeah. Avatar, it was bloobs. Hmm. The bloobs. Anyways, go ahead. I lost my train of thought. Oh, sorry, um, let me help you. In a world with no, nope, nope, that's not where we were. Okay, we were so yeah, with everybody, I'd probably ask actually, um, Dorian, if, this moment. like what he knows about this town. Has he been here before? Because I don't know any, the area. You do not at all. You've never been here. I know it vaguely, right? Correct. You've been here before, uh, as previously discussed in your backstory. You got a flute here. Was it a flute? I thought we just got a random gold piece. Or treasure. I thought we had the flute, but we had it... Stolen from First me. removed or something. Oh, yeah. But do you still have... I'll never know. Scott disappeared. I'm back. Nope. You got a flute. And then uh, you lifted the curse from the flute. Yes. 
with no. So now it's just a gold flute, right? Mm -hmm. What did we do with that gold flute? I think I gave it to Derb to hold on to, right? Yep, he still has no use it. for a thing. You would have you have it on you. Derb would not be holding it anymore. I asked you to hold it. I never took it back. Yeah, Derb just has it like in his pack. Occasionally, he looks at it. He goes, "I remember that time he asked me to hold this flute," and, and that's it. <laughs> I have on my have on my character sheet. I remember. You, the I gave time. it to you. I did not put it on my character sheet because I didn't want it, but I guess I have it. I think it's a pure gold like flute. Well, not um, gold plated, but yeah, gold plated. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I, just I heard it was you. Gold. I just showed a sleight of tongue that. No. Bad. Um, Pat. Do I have to roll like a intelligence or a history check to recall what I know about the town? No, 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 not at all. You you remember where, where the different towns are? You I obviously don't. remember, you know, one particular uh, person don't. that's part here. of the town. Yep. Uh, and Run so why? I would probably just tell Atelia what I remember, which is vague knowledge of being here once long ago. How many years ago was this? A couple Run years, three years? Um, I, I think it was actually, yeah, about a year and three a half or four or so. years, because it was like a year later we met everybody Run else, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like three, four years or so, maybe? No, I think it was like a year and a half later. A year and a half ago? Yeah. Okay. So I probably would have had pretty decent knowledge of it being only a couple years ago. Run so yeah, I'd probably just say, um, Derb and I came here long ago. About a year ago, a year and a half ago, to remove a curse from an item that we had. Brundle. Derb just says. Hey, he's just, that's, that's all he's right. saying. We, well, Derb we, looks like shit, and he's just there, like, muttering Grundle. Like, he looks like he didn't sleep. Yeah. And he, you you start bringing up, like, the past, and he's like. He's trying to tell you where the, where the mouse been. <laughs> you don't position. <laughs> I would probably say, yeah, Derb is recalling the witch that helped us remove the curse. Her name was Grundle. She took a liking to Derb, actually, if I remember correctly. At this point, Derb so. looks as they pale as you did a couple of days ago. Hmm. Is Imbear here? Do, like, what is he? He's still in the yeah. back. Overhear that? Overhear Dorian say that? Yeah, uh, Imbear is probably down there as well, hearing all the conversation. I imagine he's trying to keep it to him. He's keeping it to himself, but Imbear, please take over. Um... I think it'd be best if we uh, avoided her for the time being. Do we know that you know her already? I think he just told you. Oh, yeah. Uh, was she one of them then? This question directed at Imbir. I would say avoid her. She was nothing but nice and helped us remove a curse for... I agree with Imbir. We should avoid. She had a really loud cat, actually. She's nearby! Oh my god, I think I hear it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> hey, guy. Go away. Oh, that's my eyes. Grundle is closer me. than we think. Yeah. Oh my god. Sometimes she disguises herself as two cat, uh, two rats Grundle. just in the night, just bumping uglies. Hours. How do you know so much about two rats it? bumping uglies? Derp vomits. <laughs> <laughs> Nibbled his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dorian would ask how you're familiar with her. Um, uh, yeah, um, well, I'm familiar with most of the, the witches in this area. Oh, we're close to their, their coven then. They travel. Hopefully she's not here. There's more than Hello. one here. I do remember where her house was fairly well. We can go check to see if she's here. If you want to just make sure that she is here and we can presently leave. She, uh, she's friendly with, with my mother. So You've that's strange. She was pretty friendly glasses. with Derb. I'm not surprised. Um, a lot of the older witches, um, have, have methods of stealing youth. Really into short men. Well, oh, dear, it might also be in jeopardy here then. Best not to dawdle here then. We'll take care of our business and leave. You guys what are. Is our, what is our business? Dorian just being kind of confused, actually getting sleep and having his mind almost like wiped clean. Well, it was kind of a coin flip as to whether we should go back down and report to the Duchess to come up here <laughs> first, but 
Well, we came here to alert the people what we found, right? And that message has been passed on. Well, not to the the traders. Right. If we came here, rumor will spread. Seek it out. Of the clearing, yes, but we didn't tell them about the specifics of the people we found and who they were. We should still try to go. Aren't they actually south, though? Isn't that what Scott's? No, 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 they're actually up here. This is where the merchants came They were from. coming here. Oh, yeah. they were coming oh. here, gotcha. Or whatever. They're coming from here. They're heading south. They, they, you met oh. them on the other side of the woods. That's why there was a missing a wagon and the dead people, so on and so forth. Oh, got right. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Should notify next of kin, maybe? Rarney. Yeah, uh, we know who we they know were. A couple uh, shops from being here before. I'm not sure if they're the right ones, though. We could probably ask around and then get out of here. I ask. Judging by the bodies, Scott, would I have known how long they were down there? I mean, oh, you, I think you, we asked that already, and you said no. Actually. Well, it's not even necessarily a matter of the bodies. You spoke to the merchants on the other side of the the woods. Oh, we yeah. know how long they yeah, were gone. You know exactly. Yeah, how we long know they when were they gone. left. Yeah, that's you know everything. Bear had a long night that night. There was an eyeball. The only thing we don't know is their names and stuff because I don't think the merchants told us that. So we just really don't know who their next of kin is, unless oh, we go well, around asking everybody. Report everybody to, I thought found. they told us who they were because we knew that they were where they were from. So I think we had some idea. We knew where they were from, but they didn't tell us who they were. We just Thanks. knew they were merchants. We can go door to door, even ask the tavern. I guess the tavern barmaid Didn't people who were. Thanks, Vid, and welcome, Fenros. Um, so yeah, the um, you guys knew who a good number of them were, but most importantly, inside the wagon that had the Kiki more inside of it that you like grabbed the goods from, there also were ledgers in there. Nothing was like it wasn't in great shape, but there was enough stuff inside there that you could actually oh. identify. Remember, don't forget the the crates also had markings on them as to who it was that owns the contents of the crates. So it's not impossible for you to figure out you know uh who it uh was there and so on and so forth so you actually have a pretty firm understanding that and pat's character excuse me before him was very uh um he was talking he was being very chatty he was trying to get the story from everybody before so he definitely would like remember the names of the people that they said they had lost and and stuff like that i personally so, didn't remember if we knew that, no that's fine your character definitely yeah your character definitely would have um, okay. um gathered that information because that was all discussed about beforehand so, so I would, can, knowing that, then I would probably go to the barmaid and ask for the names of the people of who, who the innkeeper or the tavern across the way. The innkeeper. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I thought it was one of the same. Typically, in olden times, it's one of the same. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It's uh different towns. So, so you, I you um, yeah. So you um, uh, went down to the uh, to the person that kind of helped you out beforehand, and you can actually see that their shift must be ending soon because they look tired. So just like I'm about to sneeze. Oh, Lady Grundle bit their ears too, huh? That was quite vicious, Scott. Look at him staring at the nasty spot on the floor where his snot just flew. Ugh. Oh, it looks like that. two rats uh, fucking. Ew. <laughs> Ew, look at that puddle of slime. Uh, anyway. Next time I won't, I, I won't mute myself, but you can bask in the glory <laughs> of the... All the fucks I give. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't see any. <laughs> um, all the fucks I take. <laughs> hey. I don't get any. It's a pile of um, snot. I was going to say there's no shit around, so I guess you don't get any. <laughs> So, um, you, uh, you, uh, you go looking for the different peoples to, to have this conversation with, or, sorry, oh, yeah, the, bless and, you. and they look very, thanks. They look very, uh, exhausted, unfortunately from, um, uh, they look exhausted from uh, being up all night long after having like scrubbed out the tub and filled it up after each one of you and so on and so forth. And having gone and re- actually, uh, 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 retrieved breakfast for your care for your, each of your characters and actually brought it upstairs to your, um, to your room. So you guys to actually have breakfast, uh, for you, Wade, you just like, sitting there with your back against the wall and hearing some squeaking when finally they going walk like in that. rocking back and forth. They walk mm-hmm. in with the food and like, Oh, I got perfect. Hey, Hey. Get out of here! And they go and like kick their feet. <laughs> Is that whatever noise mice make? That one was go, <laughs> And he goes, hey, what, "What is your Hegel, Willard?" That'll do just fine. Anyway, so I have so to make a, uh, he, He's exhausted as you come walking over, and you're like, hey, "Would I have hey to there. do a persuasion check? Persuasion check or anything like that?" Well, let's figure out how the conversation breakfast? goes. Roll right? play it. Roll okay. play it. Roll play it. Roll play it. Roll play it out. So. Well, I don't. I don't even remember. I'm just gonna say, Mister and Mrs. Smith. Is that who I'm looking for? I don't, there's I don't... A, there's a, a, I'm looking for a few names from in town. You okay. actually have several names. Go ahead. Right, okay. really so split I, up though. Would I have the ledger on me that we retrieved from the wreckage? The partial one. It was somewhat destroyed and everything. Don't forget, like 
fire was used and whatnot. But yes, right, right, right. Would. Yes. Would those have the names on them? I'm sorry, this is all meta. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'd probably just approach the innkeeper. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, we, as we said yesterday, we we traveled through here and we're looking for uh, the families of the merchants that uh, kind of fell to the Kikimore. I have a couple of their names here, and I'd probably go through my bag to grab the parchment or even ask one of my one of my companions for it. And I would kind of show it to him, seeing if he recognized any of the names to point us in the right direction. Looking over, and he's like, oh, oh, no. Are you saying everybody in here passed? Not everybody. I don't remember all of the names of the merchants we've talked to already, but one of the carts did not make it, sadly. Is, is Leonard okay? Leonard was such a, a kind gentleman. But I know that from the names that we talked about earlier. Uh, Leonard, you think, w was one of the uh, people that actually made it through to the other side, injured, but made it through to the other side. What I, so I think. <clears throat> you, you're you almost positive, yeah. I, I would, then I, if he starts saying, like, Leonard and worrying about it, no, I, I think he made it through. Oh, and I would probably you. give, like, vague descriptions of what he looked like to see if it matches up. Yes, yes, that is him. Oh, I'm only goodness. saying that because of my, how how talkative I was with them. And, and I would probably give description of who, of who I talked to. <laughs> yep. And so you do, and you kind of like give a description, try to remember. And I imagine one of the, one or two of the other ones kind of chime in and like, what about the guy that was, oh yes, 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 that one too. And you give a description. He's like, great, great, great. Well, that's good news. Well, luckily not everybody. <gasps> no. Alina, please tell me she's okay. She was so young. <laughs> she was so young. I don't. Shut up, cat. No, she did. Yeah. She died. I she was not one of the ones that you described. Yeah. I don't remember anyone of that name. She might have been with the Fallen. Oh, no. Oh, God. I mean, she had a bit of a temper, but she was so young. It's it had her whole life ahead of her. Well, I'll have to say a prayer tonight for Alina and, and all the others. This is so sad. Do you know where the families are so that we can bring them their last effects? I yeah some some of these people I, I don't know all the names that are here unfortunately but I do know uh, a good portion of these I, I can if you can, I can point us in the direction of anybody that could know more knowledge on the people you don't know um yeah I'd appreciate it of course I'll, I'll do all that well I, I honestly the, you can speak to the um uh, uh the head of the guard uh, in the area we kind of a regional guard that takes over uh, this kind of uh area that we're in too many small towns to each have our own head of guard I was say, this is like a really small town right correct it? correct too many too many small towns that each have our own head of uh guard so likely um um she will know where it is that you can uh find out uh, do you know her name by chance this this head of the guard i i, I do actually um uh, her name is um. Oh, sorry. Um. Her name is um. Uh. Um, uh fake a sneeze. One more hit, time. Uh, <laughs> we hit her with the cart when we came in. Everyone you love around you is dying. Is um the right name? Letitia. Never mind. We didn't hit Letitia. She's fine. No. Yeah. She didn't hit Letitia. Thank you. Uh, her name is um. The head of the guard, Letitia. If you can point me in the direction of the, of her camp or where her, where she can be located and you anything would else, I would appreciate it. Head out of town, opposite the way that you you came in. Um, she's that direction. Um, about we a have couple passed. Miles. No, uh, opposite direction you came in. Opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. Um, her, her uh, outpost is over there. It's somewhat central to where all the other towns are, so she'd be able to guide you a bit more. Honestly, uh, maybe a. Uh, if you came on horse, right? Yes, yes. We put you in the stables last night. Um, uh, on horseback, maybe two hours from here, you can get to her. Half a day's ride. No, about two hours, unless your horses are lame. I didn't see any injuries on them. Should we check the shoes? No, you should check the doctor's shoes. His are the only ones that were lame. Wait, shut the fuck up. I think that was just his jokes. Those two. Dorian would just agree, and uh, great strokes, are Um, so you, um, uh, he's like, um, should be able to help you, and if not her, then obviously the person that's most intermingled with the uh, the different towns. I would imagine like Dorian would be thinking in his head, if if they couldn't help me, I'm sure I could talk to the other families I'm going to go talk to, so of course, plus he's it's a small village, I would imagine probably like a couple hundred people, maybe is that too big? Uh, for each individual um, uh, village, probably or... like 
four to eight people per household and probably like a handful of households. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at for each Thorper village, you're looking at anywhere between, say, like maybe 100 to like, say, 400 for each one of them. Well, the way that you described this village the first time we came through with Grendel was very small. You're correct. Right. So this, one, this one's very class small. was 507, so I feel that. I just think of it kind of like not really rural where it's just everything's like spread out kind of a thing. So, um, um, so I, I just I would just thank him for his help and give him a, he a, finish. a, a cop. He said, a cop he, said piece. he said he said anything, uh, anything, uh, uh, anything. He's like, let's just wish we were able to help you. The only other person that's uh, as intermingled with all the different uh, towns and whatnot around would, of course, be old lady Grundle. She'd be more than happy to help, I'm sure. So you. So you have to be careful. <laughs> there was a bit of an incident lately, so she's been a, a little jumpy. Um, since uh, the incident outside of her, um... Grundle, I do know. I've heard her name in my travels, but I have oh. to do a deception for that. Was my deception high enough to where? Honestly, I don't he's really... so tired. He can... I, uh, he just glazes over that. Yeah. Plus, I imagine she's pretty well known here in this town anyway. Yeah. So rumors of her probably have spread. But yeah, yeah. The name of old lady Grundle gets around. What was the incident you were speaking of? Uh, there was uh, an attack of sorts. Um inside of her her uh, honestly it looked like a beast had torn the place apart but by the time the guards got there it was a uh, apparently it was a drunk man uh, at least he smelt of whiskey when the uh, uh, you know guards came and dragged him out of her her place he was more or less naked and and smelt again horribly of whiskey uh, came out he had bits of you know blood on his hands and whatnot but Grundle swore that would she look was to, fine Dorian uh, mm. would look to Italia and, and Baron and just kind of like that look like we should probably look up on this. Are we near you? Yeah, I imagine you guys are right behind me. We're all in the same room. I imagine, oh, okay. yeah, imagine we're area. all, I imagine the front area of the inn. If but anything, I, I would look to Italia. If you're not there, then yet, Messi. I'd probably oh, just look oh, to man. Italia, giving her kind of like a concerned look like we should probably check in on this. But obviously, my word is not law, so it's just suggestion. A suggested look. Sorry, so I would, I would thank the man. I would give him a. I would give him a copper piece or whatever for the knowledge for the help. Um, he takes it and says, "Oh, thank you. Thank you." And the for rooms are great. Copper. Thank you so much. Did we have to pay for that, by the way? Or they said it was on the house. He, he said it was on him. But... Yeah. Dur Dorian being a nice Dur guy, he would give him. Upset looking at the whole the rooms were great remark as he like walks off. Dorian would leave another four copper coins just for how nice they treated us. So. Toss a copper to the keeper. He gave you so much. You said thank you with pennies. Whoa. It probably has rabies from the rat that bit his ear. <laughs> hey, this place was empty. It's not like he's getting a lot of passerbys anyway. Yes, you pay. He literally pennies? said, <laughs> take what you can hey, get. Hey, here's five bucks. <laughs> You're going to need it. <laughs> get your ass we out of my five face, star cat. Service. But the cat wants you to stare directly into it. Oh, he wants me to directly. Come here. Bullseye. Oh, come here. There you go. All right. Here we go. Is that better? There you go. <laughs> Wrecked him. Hey, Get. Wade. <sighs> Wade. What what breed of dog can jump taller than a building? From higher than a building. All of them. Sorry. Buildings don't jump. Get fucked. Wow. wow. Is that the joke? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're going to say? That's so dumb. Oh, I was supposed to be a bad oh, wow. joke. It was supposed to be a bad wasn't joke. Really, but it was still bad. <laughs> I sent. A, I thought a funny joke to Wade today. This is to be so bad. Wade said he choked on the when I when I texted it to him. Dude, was it funny, Wade? Did you like? <laughs> so stupid. Tell us, Pat. I, did, with the I class. haven't heard from Pat in like two days, and just out of nowhere, he texts me, and it's nothing but the image of a stormtrooper like aiming a gun. Like at the, and he's like, uh, wait, what was your I, exact... I gave him like the the Futurama not sure if, and I was like, not sure if threatening, saying hello, or... Suit of armor? And he's like, or... no, man, I just miss you. And I was like, just... Mi and he's like, I get it. I was like, Stormtrooper aim, I get it. But like, whenever it clicked, I was like... Send me that picture, I want to give it to my wife. That'd be amazing. I, it's just a Stormtrooper, just... Oh, I don't even think it was a transparent. A it was just him aiming. Stormtrooper. Yeah. I didn't know I thought... Pat was telling me he had bought Stormtrooper. I was like, dude, wrong campaign. We're doing Witcher now. <laughs> my, my favorite one is the one with the Stormtrooper that uh, has the gun against their head inside of like a cell. And they pull the trigger like three times. Now they're and it dead. Just, it, it, it hits the wall opposite them, even though the like, barrel's against their head. I thought and then they just like look at the gun and they're like, oh. <laughs>
I thought you were doing a queen a... joke there with the whole gun against their head, pulled their trigger. No, they miss. It's funny because the it stormtrooper tries to, but they miss because they're stormtroopers. <laughs> it's funny, but dark humor. So dark. So, so sad. <laughs> so we go to find this traitor family. Yeah, hey, so we go to the... Hey, Cheesy Butler, luckily for you, and this may be a revelation, there are two shift keys on a keyboard. I know. I know. Can you stop talking shift for a minute? Can we play? All right. So you go find the, uh, uh, obviously you're not looking for a town. How many families did he point out? Like two or three out of like the, I imagine like 10. Yeah. Maybe it, not. I mean. Yeah, a, a couple of the families. Yeah, exactly. Like three of the families pointed out like yeah. I know exactly where these are. These other ones, like you can find them over here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, obviously you're going to go around. What do you do the first thing you characters want to do? Uh, talk to the families or or what? I would Leave. I would reconvene with Ember, Ember and uh, Italian and just say, well, Derb and I, as I said, no Lady Gundal from our past, and she was nothing but helpful. Ember, I know you are not smitten to go and find her, but it sounds like I'm not she was to find uh, her either. It sounds like she was attacked. You oh, should pardon, not man. go check on that. No, the innkeeper said it may have been a beast. Yeah, Did you not find that strange, Witcher. They took the man into custody, right? Uh -huh. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, was it somebody was mm -hmm. okay? Maybe um. Maybe instead of talking to Lady Grundle, we can talk to the man who did it. I'm not sure why you want to dodge her as much as I do, but I'm not opposed to that. I, I, I would just look at Ember, and if he didn't say anything, um. No, he's. I'm sure he said he would want to go check, talk to the person. Other than like to, I meant to, oh, to gotcha. what Derb just said. Uh, if he didn't respond after that, I would just say, um. um might be worth going to talk to uh, the person directly or the culprit directly. No arguments from up there. Sorry, I don't but it didn't sleep very well. We can, we can. Do we know, would that be the same place? Would we, would we know where they took him? I guess not. We would have to, probably the head well, guard, We have to go right? talk to the lady anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, I, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to suggest was we don't really know where. They took the person, the guy that was arrested. It might be with Letitia. It was Letitia, right, Scott? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head guard. Letitia. Mm -hmm. From uh, <laughs> what the innkeeper said, it was about two hours ride that way. Right, and he would kind of point. Was it east or was it south? Um, well, so you came, out of, you came north out of the woods and then you kind of would have traveled around. So a little further to the west. There you go. Okay, west. Okay. And then obviously the, the, the hill that I mentioned to Messi uh, last night. Would have been to the south a little, but I would point to the point to the west then. About two hours that way on horseback. So we can inform the, the families when we get back. Unfortunately, the departed are not going anywhere. Okay. Being a little somber about it, but showing I mean, you you say unfortunately, but it would suck if they just got up and walked off, huh? Yeah. So do you want to probably be I guess I would say fortunately, not unfortunately. <laughs> I'm trying to follow my stupid flaws and traits and stuff. So, so um, when you're giving the the, the telling this to the families and whatnot, um, do you want to actually go ahead and roll me a persuasion check for how it is? Uh, uh, yeah, it's just a, a we're not doing that yet. Oh, my apologies. Which, which one were you going to first? We're going to, we're going to the, the head dog. Oh, I'm sorry. So you guys are just hopping on your horses and I. That's I why turn I said, fortunately, yep, the good. departed are not going anywhere. Yeah. We can so, talk yeah. to the families. My apologies. So you could get on your horses. You start eating out of town. Uh, so again, only about a two hour ride. Uh, for you guys to get there. Happy day's trip. Two hours later, unless you mm -hmm. stop to pick flowers on the way. Rena, do you go looking for herbs? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Does do I, do I spot herbs? any herbs? Hold on, let me look at what I got. I guess we're not in, in like a huge hurry, are we? No. If, I mean, if I have taking, time, I would like to. Taking our time. Well, that's what I'm saying. If we're, if like, I imagine there's two types of speeds we can go, right, Scott? This two hours. We can like we can go fast and go slow. fucking haul, or we can take the full two hours and just kind of enjoy the route, right? Yeah, sure. Or you can even do so, worse. You could stop. That's nothing. I guess we could do. stop. Yeah, it, it's yeah, up to you. I mean, I imagine it's like nine it's in the morning, idea. ten in the morning before we like start going. Maybe even take a little nap in the bed now. But Jerba seems really tired, and you guys don't know why. 
Nope, nobody cares. Okay. Sounds no. like uh, weird in real life. <laughs> like, oh, I got hit by a truck? That's nice. That's nice. Everyone's like, oh, good. You still owe us money. All right. All right. Uh, read up mistletoe. One. Thank you. But Messi has to kiss uh, Dorian. Uh, why? You want me to get it? Yep. At least it's not oh, I need that messy. mistletoe, y'all. So if you can oh. do something about that. So you um you make your way uh, uh through Dorian, there you find that um, one bit of mistletoe and then you um uh, eventually find your way to the guard area and the guard area uh, to be clear messy not messy sorry uh Dorian is a um uh, a guard tower it's about what would be like three stories high if you will um constructed out of wood imagine like a modern modern day like if you're going to like a decent sized um park or like a state park or whatever it is like a ranger tower so it's constructed out of wood um uh up there with like imagine a little, like an platform. old style fort kind of a thing right yeah 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 but again it's made out of wood um and then they have like a, a low wall uh that goes around this and then inside there's just two buildings on the inside one much larger than the other but just two buildings on the inside there um the the door that leads into again these low walls so you guys could hop the wall if you wanted to um but the the door that leads uh through like the area that opens up is right over by where the ranger tower actually is and you can just go walking through that little uh, uh, entrance. And again, it's almost like you have to think like, um, was it like a cow fence, right? Like, a, or like a paddock fence, kind of like the, the door just kind of swing is swung open. Um, and so you go walking in uh, to the area where well, you do see a couple of guards are inside there without much to do at the moment the, the you know, it's nice weather. It's hot out. Uh, you can see the guards, um, each of them have like um, uh, varying degrees of armor removed. Nobody has a helmet on. Some of them actually have like their arms, their bracers and um, uh, the armor on the upper arms and whatnot removed. Some of them literally have the boots taken off and stuff like that. Definitely do not look prepared or ready for any form of combat. Um, <clears throat> others Sounds are just- a good time to take over the town. Uh, uh, another one you actually see is literally their entire like, chest plate, like breastplate uh, that they have is removed and put down. And so they just have like their arms and leggings still on but that chest plate is removed again nobody has helmets and they're sitting around they're just playing a game of gwent or like watching I, have, gwent. I have a gwent deck you do i think uh several of you do never played the game never touched Dude, the stuff. every time every time i've gone to play the witcher like the witcher 3 i get to the point where i can play gwent and then I don't play the rest of the game. I just play Gwent. That's the so I've never beginning. finished The Witcher Three. Yeah, it's the very beginning. I, 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 I can't stop playing Gwent. Gwent is so much fun. Gwent I suck at really it really good. badly, but I, I yeah. Um, oh really? You know, if you play the campaign, you actually get cards sometimes too. Pat, yeah, but I can't do that. I, stuff. Yeah. Sorry, what was you, what were you saying, Scott? I, was, I said I'll play you in Gwent. I'm terrible at it. When when the I'm Gwent terrible. game first came out. I used to stream playing it, and actually, I not to like uh, the mobile like it, version. No, 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 on on PC. The, oh, like uh, yeah, the one that saying? GOG uh, released. Was it? That's what was I'm saying. It, yeah, that yeah, the that, full fledged one. Yeah, I, I actually it was like the only I, card game Gwent not like in the game. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I actually did because I never bought the Witcher three. I actually yeah, did pretty pretty decent. Like At that's where you play against other people, right? Like on on yeah. Twitch TV slash Dalric, my best. Uh, streams like the most av highest average view streams over there where me playing Gwent. There you go. Yeah, I just stopped playing because it, unfortunately I ran out of time and I'd rather play D and D. But that was definitely the highest uh, uh, view count was me playing Gwent. It was pretty decent. So, so you could have been rich and famous, and you could have been paying us all lots of money right now. Well, I I mean I don't know. About we wouldn't being be here. Rich and famous, but I just D and D is like my passion, man. It's like. I love D and D. You could have been a Gwent star. So you could seeing all these guys kind of just chill and like relaxing, uh, Dorian would kind of walk up to him and say, uh, "Excuse me, gentlemen, uh, where is your head commander, Letitia? I believe is her name." Um. Uh, you say uh, so. Where is Letitia? They say um she's out doing rounds right now. What you Can need? You point me in the direction. Oh. Uh, doing rounds, she could be anywhere at this point. I'm not sure. Um, but honestly, she head out the, the the early shift. She head out just before dawn. It's um almost noon. She should be heading back soon. It's about Dorian almost about like noon. that response, just being like, "Your commander's out on rounds, and you don't know where to locate her if something bad happened." Well, if something bad happens, I'm sure we can take care of it. 
Where do you keep your prisoners, my friends? Because we need to make sure that we tie up. Who's there? It says, as you, like, you're yawning, you see like four of the other people around start yawning. There's like seven of them, right? You see four of the other people around also right, start now yawning. Now they're all exhausted too. Wait, look at this. You're Sorry, spreading. I don't mean to yawn, but I was kept up till past the break of dawn. Oh. <sighs> Oh. Now you got the whole squad yawning. You all right, friend? Uh, I, hey, uh, Messy, Pat, and Rena, can you guys roll will saves not yawn? So it's a, it's a wisdom check, it's not yawn. Will save or just flat wisdom? W w wisdom save. Okay. This is going to be bad. Um, That was almost really bad. It still wasn't good. And bear, bear the will save? Um, no, nobody yawned. So just the guards start yawning. Uh, as uh, as Darb does, like um, he's like we'll, we'll, we'll be able to handle for it. a man who has covered in blood, possibly committing crimes out in the mud. What my friend here is trying to say is, we're trying to look for this for a oh, prisoner who was arrested probably a couple of days ago. Yeah. He was attacking. Could you, hold on, uh, could you stop doing that? Uh, really? No, no could you sorry, could sir. you stop? Oh, if I wasn't so exhausted, then perhaps I... I kind of like half doses off mid-sentence. <laughs> oh, jeez. Listen, we got a prisoner inside. What are you doing? Stop yawning. What? Yeah. How long does this exhaustion last? Until he gets a proper night's sleep. Does yep. it actually? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exhaustion sucks. <laughs> I almost RPing, killed Tyler. I was being exhausted. Before. I figured that was the best way to do it. Pat, I got Tyler so exhausted. I almost killed him. That sounds so... better than. I'm so tempted to use my new spell against Wade right now. <laughs> oh man, the nap I can sure take. So, so li listen, listen. Okay, you walk away. You, huh. you're like Prince Valium from Spaceballs. Where have you been? Huh. You walk away. You walk away, he says, and like, Ugh. We have a prisoner inside like a there. I would if Letitia says it's okay, you could talk to the prisoner. Damn it. So I, I would probably let Italia make the choice on who to go talk. Because I imagine you want to go and talk to him. It would be, I, I, I guess I'm trying um... to keep her like, from like passing the fuck out. You hear a thump as his head like hits the wall. For I'm second. gonna talk to the soldier that uh, saw a step forward and, and ask. As you do that, um, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna go find Derb a place where he could just shut his eyes for a little bit. She'll nod. Uh, who's in charge while uh, Letitia is gone? He points across the table to the other guy that barely has looked up. He's kind He's of still staring at his, <laughs> staring at his, you know, his hand for Gwent. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, no, just his hand. He just like points at that guy, and the guy like looks at the hand that pointing at him, and looks up, and he's like, "Huh? Yeah, yeah, me." Yeah. Ah, fuck. Um. Or, so I mean, I'll look directly at him, and so he knows, or maybe gets a sense of what I am. I don't even know, but I'll just walk towards him and and say, "Um, take out your swords." And listen, it, uh, kind Cut of an important, just, kind of an important matter that we uh, uh speak to this prisoner. Or at least see him. Uh, I have a uh, a feeling he may not be what he seems to be. Um, <laughs> why? Many a monster have met therein. Well, I tell you, oh, thank hey, you, Derb. Hey. Derb, thank you. Oh, yay! Hey, get get this man out of here. What the hell is going on? That's what, that's what Dorian You have doing. a comfortable cell for me. <laughs> Um, I found you a place to to knock out. You're sleeping right now. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, Rena, uh, uh, he, says, he said, "Like how? Like what? What makes you say so? Or what makes you think that?" Think what? Is that what you said? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Think that. Yep, yep. About um, the monster. Blah blah. blah. Or not yeah. what he seems. Yeah, yeah. Um. Just what I've I've heard of uh, his crimes. I just mm. need to see it for myself. 
Well, unfortunately for you, you don't exactly have the authority to just go walking in now. Letitia, she gives you permission. You can go in there, but uh, even though I may be the second in command, I ain't exactly just allowing some strangers who have arms to the teeth to come walking into camp and talking I'm to prisoners. Sorry to interrupt, but have you seen her eyes? Uh, I'm sure they're quite pretty, lady, but um, the witcher oh. eyes. Oh, look at that. You're one of them. They're freak shows. After finding Derb a place where he can rest, can I come over and try to persuade him to let Natalia talk to him? Uh, Listen, sir. I mean... <laughs> our friend here outranks all of you guys. She's a witcher. Oh, man. Um, that's not how the laws work. I, I was... She was... My camera Sorry. actually overheated? Did it? <gasps> Nope. I haven't done that since Scott, I since they bought a since they bought Scott, a fan. Are you there? I'm scared. It's dark. Since they bought a fan, that hasn't happened once. That's crazy. Well, Scott, now it's so once. dark in here. I don't know. Greg, do you remember do. the fan? The camera broke like the first time oh. I used it. Well, it yeah. hasn't happened twice. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder why. Check it out later. Oh well. There's bad cam for now. The fan cooling setup is as good as your audio setup. Too soon. Too soon. Hey, be nice to me, Scott. Well, I, almost died I guess we're looking for a new ago. fourth, new fourth PC. So, anyways, back to you. You can, you can... arena, <clears throat> or whoever. What what about Derb? That's not how the laws a... work. The Derb might be out thinking a lot. Um, it's just that uh, we've been in the area. And, um... We were um actually paid to investigate it by Lady Grundle. You deceptioning um, this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Off your roll, I might back you up, but <laughs> I'm gonna look at you like, wait, what? Oh, come on. It didn't even roll. You wanna use the reroll? That sucks. Do we have a reroll? Well, it's said yeah. for yeah. Arena, because yeah, you'll matter. need it. That's fine. Okay, I'll reroll. Wow, one, I swear to God, dude. Okay. 17. Try luck? No, fuck it. No, it's fine. <laughs> you can lock it if you like under Lingard. Uh, what does he say when late with the Lady Grundle thing? He goes, oh. I mean, she paid you to investigate it. I, I understand. I just don't understand why she would do that if we we're already handling the matter. She said, um. I don't want to. I, I think I'm going to roll for an intimidation. Sure. Just putting pressure on, like, are you sure. trying to impede oh, this attack? On... You're sleeping. Shut the fuck up. Derb do. <laughs> I would just say, are you trying to sleep slow corner. down our progress of our client who paid us? Is that a deception and intimidation, or? Well, is that intimidation? Yeah. I'm yeah. trying. Well, I I, I want to put pressure on him. Like, why are you slowing us down? Maybe it could be that's major. intimidation. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, that was You terrible. wanna luck it? Free t free natty twenty or not free natty twenty. Well wow, free twenty if you luck it. Yeah, we I'll probably look, got I'll like at I'll least luck ten one luck, one. right? Level one luck to get that free. Oh luck it, why not? That's not luck. What was that? Is that luck? Well, I used a lucky dice on Oh he meant lucky. Why would yeah, you I you wanted to see if I oh. wanted to see if I can get higher than a thirteen. Okay, uh, right. I, I wanted to see, and then I'll I'll choose the nineteen. I'll I'll, I'll lucky luck it. Lucky luck luck it. Two. Hey, we had at least ten. Wow. Now we have nine. I wanted to see if I could if I could get above that thirteen threshold because mathematically we did have at least ten. It was less than or. or I did say I wanted to use a lucky, not a roll luck. We tired too. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways. Tell. So you um air uh, traps are going off early today. Uh, you intimidated. He's like dreams for me. So so Pat, what was the actual line you said you? I was said something. Like, are you trying to slow us down from our investigation of Lady Grundle? She won't be happy about this. He's Tyler, like, what are these rules? He's like, whoa. Not trying man. to like yell at him, but like trying to be like, why are you slowing us down? Kind of a thing. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I I get it. Listen, Grundle's dear to all of us. I'm sure you know her quite well. She's a yes, but she wouldn't have gone lady. out of her way to listen, hire a listen, witcher. Listen, I I I I get it. 
I get it, okay? Obviously, we have some rules to follow here. I can't exactly allow you to go back there and um, investigate this this man, right? I can't exactly just watch as you go over there and do such things. Perhaps you and I can go check out the tavern then. Um, could, you know, would that be persuasion? Listen, listen, listen I, think, I think you need to... <laughs> your, your character's not that dumb. It's one Dorian, level of exhaustion. Not, Dor not Dorian four. knows what he's Dorian knows <laughs> he what he's he throwing down. But he says, do he it. says, he says, can't listen, watch. why don't you just sit nice and patient and play a game of Gwent with me? Okay. I thought, he, I thought he was like being coy. Like, I can't watch you do that. Like, go do it. No, he definitely is. He is being coy. <laughs> yeah, Dorian, he's, if you. He just said he's trying to cover his ass. Him. And so if someone were in the interrogate, game, be like, you I didn't wear see pants. You. Put his armor back on. Wait, wait, wait. IRL has a d disadvantage on all insight checks. So. Cool. Um, um, Dorian, why don't you play a game and, and babysit the um, sleepy man? You, okay, meta wise, do you really want me to do that when I have the higher, yeah. like, okay? Yeah. I, I don't have oh. a deck. <laughs> I've never played. Oh, I do. I can entertain him with. Uh, I, no, no. <laughs> knowing that, then I, I guess do, let, let's have that as an RP thing. Then you and I being like, I don't have a deck to play. Dorian would just give you his deck. <gasps> Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hold the phone! Put it down. You letting somebody borrow your Gwent deck? I would you let somebody borrow your rules. Pokemon cards? Would you let somebody borrow your MTG cards? Sh would you let somebody? Surely... Actually, nobody cares about Yu-Gi-Oh. But would you let somebody borrow your Gwent deck? Funny thing. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are like the most expensive out of all. Yeah, but Yu-Gi-Oh is lame. Depends. I agree. I agree. Yes, it does depend. But go look at how much those blue eyes, white dragons, and dark magicians are worth. They're worth like seven to thousand dollars. I don't care about monetary value. I care about honor in the game. Okay. Nobody gives a fuck about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like you're gonna let him borrow your nine dark magician that I didn't realize I should have held on to when I was this dumb kid. I opened the OG ones. Aren't worth anything. Oh, okay. I don't care. I All don't right. know why. Tyler rolled the... a one. Drib didn't find anything epic. But Derb still could. <sighs> so, um, Dorian, I, I appreciate it, but I, I don't know how to play. And surely this man wants to play against someone who's a self-proclaimed master, right? Sir? I'm sure he could teach you. Kind of like grab, like throwing the deck in your arms and just walking away. He you know, says to you as you like toss the deck to him and start walking off. He goes, "Hey, where are you going?" I just going? gotta shove it in his chest and I walk away. <laughs> he goes, "Hey, where are you going?" He's talking to me. Yeah. Can I give an intimidating look back to him? Sure. I, yeah. guess I, don't, I don't know what that. <laughs> well, he's 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 yeah, you're just again like a bard. It's part of it's part of it's <laughs> part of the bard. It's part the of the conversation bard. though, uh, Pat. He's like, "Hey, right. where are you going?" I would just tell him, "Avert your eyes." I'll be back. <laughs> okay, he's like the least deceptive person. He'd be like, for a walk, you know? I gotta take a piss. I gotta take a shit. It's you know, Thanksgiving. Like that. And he's like, I'll go for a he's walk like, and come back with the red eyes. <laughs> you're not watching, remember? Yeah, it'd be something like that, yeah. We're doing very important work. Don't mean to be a jerk. You're gonna make I'd me... be a jerk. You're gonna make Good, me your perception's him. great as usual. Deception. Oh, deception. Oh, deception. I'm sorry. Everyone has perception. Derb says as he walks into a door. <laughs> Rena just watches. Not Rena, sorry. Atelia just watches chaos and so around her and sees like Dorian stomp off and she's just like, this is not how we do it back home. <laughs> not really sure what to do here. Mm -hmm. I just follow uh, 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 Dorian. <laughs> Am I with them? Um, I laid no. you to you sleep. You stay with now. me. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean I get to remove my exhaustion because I'm napping? No. Oh, it means you no. get to sit there quietly while everybody else are peace. So, um, yep. Was... Grundle, 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 grundle. Grundle, 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 grundle. Wait, wait you just sit there and think about grundle. All out of grundle. <laughs> Every other night then, Pinky. Pat, uh, Messi, can we get the, the couch back? No. Anyways, so. It's um, in use. So back to you, uh, Wade. Not Wade. Damn it. Yeah, tell me. Uh, you guys, me. We, we, he said, you say, avert your eyes, and you're walking off. 
and, and as you, you say would, that, you would just see you would see me walk out of the camp. I would probably just go walk to cool off because I'm angry. Honestly, I would probably walk off to just. He would see me exit the camp. Well, away from wherever the prisoner is held or whatever. And bear, what you see is um, uh, one of the other guards like, are you seriously just gonna let him do that? And the one's like, subtle boss, subtle. And he's like, hey, it's old lady Grundle. You telling me that you don't want to make her happy? Ah, uh, she is a sweet lady. I know, right? Like, and the other guy's like, listen, I don't think Letitia's gonna. And what happened when you had them warts? Okay, well, <laughs> make but still, happy. Letitia's gonna. Do I need to remind you where they were? Okay, fine. Mm. fine I don't think I those were warts, bro. If, if it makes if you them don't happy, mind. then why is Derb so sad? If you, if you wouldn't mind teaching me the rules, I'm, I'm sure I could occupy our time. Well, first first rule? Warts off. First rule of Gwent is how many cards you have. And he kind of like goes over the details and counting them out or whatever. Um, it's like the second rule of Gwent is making sure that you have 10 gold to, uh, not gold, what are they called? Florence, ten Florence to uh to bet with. Ten Florence to ante. We have ten Iowans. We don't have ten uh, Florence. That's, that's the rule. Ten. It's minimum. Ten. Can we do a gentleman's game so I can you know learn the rules? This is gentleman's. Otherwise, we do really? a fifty. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Roll an insight check. Yeah, I will. Is that right? <laughs> Proficient in that, <laughs> not proficient enough. Okay, maybe. Look at look at it. Like, is that <laughs> we right? We have at least yeah. nine lucky dice if you'd like to luck it. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm willing to offer up ten in our second game, but I, I, I can we just do like a practice? I don't know. A skirmish. If there's not ten florins sitting here on the counter. So okay, sitting here on the table, I might need to go for a walk. Oh, fuck. So, yes, yeah, so, <laughs> this sucks. So while he's saying that, um, I was like, I don't know. Uh, and Bear will, um, will look at him and just, um, he's going to give him the old evil eye. Messi, can you like role play? Can you remove the glasses and give us the evil eye for a moment? Well, I'm, um, yeah, hold on. I have to look at it. <laughs> hold on. Wow, just, Messi, Messi just, just reach sex. up and take them off. Messy, messy into specs. Specs. Okay, hard? so it's just like messy he just like lowers spec. the glasses and it's like. Ah, ah, yeah, nice. there you go. that worked nice. right. Open that was good. up your evil that was good. eye. Just shows him his butthole. All right, so what happens? Wisdom <laughs> saving throw. Or are we frightened? Uh, what's that? I don't know. Takes what's the DC? Glasses, <laughs> moons him. Yeah, moons him. Uh. Ah, ah, okay, fine, Choose one creature to 30 feet of you. Must have seen a wisdom saving throw. Be frightened until the end of your next turn. Save DC. 14 still. They call me Stinky Cyclops. Well, you have two eyes. Oh. Them. Does that change? No. What is... No, nothing. No, not not going to go up that What is spell save Why DC you, proficiency? So funny, man. It's your uh, it stat plus your proficiency. So 8 plus stat proficiency plus bonus plus modifier. Hmm? Oh, eight plus proficiency bonus plus mod. Okay. It's not going to be an 18, a, bro. I'm um, charisma. I know. Hold on. So it's I'm eight hoping. plus three plus three. Yeah, 14. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, he passes. Okay. He looks at you and goes, I know Grundle. You think that's scary? I was hoping. So you get that coin, he says. Puts the glasses back on. <laughs> And starts uh, uh, putting his cards out on the table. Is, is, is it ten of the silver pieces? Of the florins, yeah. The, um, That's the silver. Uh, yes. Okay. Then yeah, you know, I can get. S P E P G P or P P. S P. It's not the marks. No. Right, oh, just your S P, not your P P. I'll put ten on the table. <sighs> okay. And so you guys sit there, and you're gonna play some uh, Gwent Rena. You and I wish I was lucky. Dorian went around back <laughs> with and them? Um, uh, to go find your way into the actual uh, the built. So you guys walk out of the uh, the guard area, right? Walk out that front gate, walk around the side. There's of course uh, a guard up on the tower, but honestly, they like lazily watch you until you like go past where their head can turn, then they stop watching because they don't care anymore. And um, you guys walk around the back. Make me a perception check, both of you. 
Am I with them? No. No, you're with me. Damn it. You're with me. Sorry. I'll let you play. If you want. Can I lucky my garbage? Oh uh, yeah, you can you can of course lucky. You have two left. Yeah. I'll have one. Well, oh, you guys aren't happy with a six and a seven. Oh my five? god, bro. So I imagine you Five, choose six. six, seven. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the six. I don't know what I expected. The highest is no, an eight. Don't worry, we have an eight. We have an eight. We have okay. an eight, ladies and gentlemen. We have an eight. We have an Derp eight. Derp was what? there even with disadvantage. The, what does an eight shit. get us? Here, you know what? Just for Hold kicks. on, hold on, hold they on. It gets you thrown on. in jail. Uh, <laughs> perfect. It's exactly just where, where you want to go. go. Uh, I beat an eight with disadvantage and asleep. You all suck. Uh, Derb is not, but he, Wade's just being obnoxious. Uh, so, um, hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm okay. gonna roll my luck. Eight. <laughs> wow. Well, is more being asleep <laughs> what in the room got? than they see with their eight? <sighs> well, Wait, do we have a re-roll, Rena? I don't think so. No, Messi. Rena, Rena, since you guys can't notice anything, it's gonna be down to straight up luck. Could you choose somebody in chat to roll a D100? They can't roll a uh, can they? Can they Okay, it? Tyler. This is your moment. Oh, God. Why, of all people? No, no offense, Tyler. But <laughs> you want Tyler to roll high. You want Tyler to roll very okay, high. Okay, Tyler, come on. Tyler, I, you're great, man, but you... Oh, Look God. at you go. That's my, that's my dude, man. Okay. Do you, wanna, do you want to add a D4 to that, Rena, by tossing a luck die? Take it over, like, 90. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Oh yeah, we have eight dice. I guess. Dude, guys, this morning the stream, chat did not want to roll the, the dice. They were okay, we're at ninety. To. If you know anything about the spell confusion, chat did not want to roll those dice. So like, nope, I refuse. I don't 90, want to be part nice, of this. Nice. We got ninety. Solid so, ninety. So ninety. <clears throat> thank you, Amethyst. So with ninety, <clears throat> with ninety. Um, uh, you guys are actually having to make around. You look around, you don't notice anything. Not a big deal. Uh, you hop the fence on the other side and go walking into the back door of the guard tower. Uh, by sheer quince, coincidence, by sheer luck, nobody else around happens to notice you doing this because you happen to hop the fence and walk in. Well, people are distracted or looking the other way. So you didn't need a stealth. You just make it in. Nobody sees you. You don't see anybody. Um, thank you, Tyler. So you make your way into the, uh, the back of the building. And as soon as you go into the back of the building, you can see that... Well, where the guards sleep is the same big room where the uh, cell is. The cell, I mean, it is two cells opposite one another. Each cell looks like it can fit comfortably two people. They're sleeping but with four. their prisoners? Uh, same, the whole building is one room. But yes, the prisoners are inside the same large room, just inside their own cells. Uh, inside these cells, you have, like I said, you can comfortably sit two each or four, probably maximum, maybe five maximum each. Mm. There's the maximum of two people. There's only two people inside there. You see one guy on either side. One of them looks like he's uh, wearing some pretty simple clothes. Um, uh, has his head down in his hands. Um, looks like he's, I don't know, tired, sleepy, grumpy, whatever it is. Uh, the other guy has his like legs up on the wall, lying back on the bench. Uh, looks like he's chewing on a bit of hay or something like that. Simple clothes. I'm uh, paying close attention to my medallion in here. Mm -hmm. uh, am I getting a read or anything? Is that perception? Um, so it would be a perception, but if uh, not all creatures immediately are detected by the medallion, right? Uh, yeah. And of course, a witcher would know that, but immediately walking in, you definitely do not pick up anything off the medallion. Okay. And it's just the two, they're in different cells or the same cell? I'm sorry. Uh, different cells, but you know, like you stand between the two cells, like, oh, here they are, oh, here they are, like right there. Um. how I want to do this. I guess I'll just uh, speak to the one on the, I don't know, the one that had uh, his head in his hands. Yeah. You kind of like, uh, look over at him. Like, uh, what do you do? What do you say? How do you posture yourself? I might like uh, knock on the uh, bars or whatever. If sure. Wrap on the bar. Yeah. So he's kind of like. Mm hmm. Yeah. I have a few questions for you. Um, okay. 
Well, I suppose started with the most obvious. Uh, why are you in here? Um, shouldn't you know that if you're one of the people that put me here? I have other reasons for wanting to know. Um, wait, you ain't a guard? I was glance at Dorian. I'm sure I would luck. My bard outfit looks nothing like. But he's right. We I, don't. I, don't I mean, he doesn't like... look like a guard. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have at least weapons. I kind of look like a like... bard looking next to you. Do I yeah. look like a guard yeah. there? Yeah. Totally, man. Cool. Uh, she'll, she'll glance back over and say, uh, "No." Oh. You're not here to kill me or anything, are you? I suppose that depends on your answers. Okay. He sits up a little bit, a little apprehensive. Um, how can... Um, what, what was your question? Why are you here? Oh, I, um... Things got a little rowdy. A couple people got hurt. And you hurt them? Yeah. How? Well, um, funny enough, um, you know, mean left hook, but he was the one that taught me, so, you know, I guess I gave him a bit of his own medicine. Uh, while, I went, while I'm talking or listening to him, I glance at Dorian and kind of shift my eyes behind me mm -hmm. to say, like, keep an eye on the other one. Just for, just to try to gauge both of them here. But listen to him first. So you, so you want me to just look, you want me to just Ooh. watch one of them? Yeah, just watch the other one. Dorian would kind of just kind of lean up against, like, one of the walls and just, you know, look at the one. Not, not, not like creepily stare, but I guess just watch both conversations, but mainly the main guy that she wanted me to. Yep, he still has his legs up on the wall, still chewing on the bit of hay. He's kind of like looked to the side a little bit, just to like watch. Can I roll a perception to actually really analyze him to see if he's anywhere? Like, do I recognize him from any of my travels or anything like that? You roll your perception to see if you notice anything. My glasses are off, so I can't see anything. It's an 11. Cool, you happy with it? Net, it's a net yeah, 20. Yeah, I'm not going to go at all. I'm not going to do another look. Okay, so um, uh, you just notice again, man sitting there dressed rather simple, so on and so forth. You can see that, you know, he's got like um, uh, on the side of his brow, like over here, he's got a bit of a cut and a small bruise uh, over here, but nothing crazy or anything like that. Nothing really stands out. So I'm just kind of watching. Okay. He, he's like, so back to you, Rena. Um, is he one of the ones who got hurt? Kind of motioning her head back towards the other. No, no, he, he's not. They're all back home. Where's home? It's one of the towns around here. It's um, uh, Tilton. I imagine that's not the town we came from. No. Would I have knowledge uh, of this place? Would that be a history or? Um, uh, you think you vaguely remember the name Tilton. You traveled around these towns before, so you vaguely Would I know it. that it's relatively close to here? Yeah, yeah, It's one of the ones that this guard tower would be defending of, that this is okay. central to. I wouldn't say anything then. Yep. If it sounded like it was way off, I probably would have interjected. Yeah. That's the only reason I ask. So, you just got in a fight and ended up here? There's gotta be more to it than that. Mm -hmm. Things got a bit rowdy. There was blood. I, um... I don't think they would have been as mad if I just, uh... You know, whoop some ass old, old school, but... More words were said, and... I grabbed a dagger. I, I didn't actually stab no one, but... I tried. So... You know... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna roll insight. 
Never mind. <laughs> you think he's lying? <laughs> Can I roll insight even though I'm partially like half paying attention? Yeah. What does it say? I can't read it. Eleven. Eleven. I can't. God, I'm so bad. Um, you know about wearing glasses? He says, "Um, I oh, so you, 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 you believe him, Dorian." He says, "Um, yeah, you know." He sounds pretty believable right now, at least from what I'm listening to. Okay. You said that. I, I, I wouldn't say it. I would oh, wait. To, okay. I, I'm, I'm just true. listening, watching the guy you told me. But from what I can oh, okay. hear, yep. it sounds believable to me. I'm not saying that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You think he's lying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does he say something else? Liar! Boom. <laughs> Waits. He's waiting for me. You know anything about this guy? Motions again back to the one behind her. Um came in around the same time as I did a couple days ago both been uh, rotten in here a couple days the other one while chewing on the bit of hay he just kind of like looks up at Dory and he's like <laughs> uh, now like, that I'm as acknowledgement that, that, that he knows I'm watching him can I inspect him again but this time a bit like more focused on him than the conversation. Well, I mean, you already did your inspection, right? And you didn't prep right. anything. This time you'd be less discreet. Last time it was kind of like you give him a look see. This time you'd be like turn in full fledged looking at him, actually like, openly. I'd want to inspect like out. his boots and see like that. He's got dried mud. And if if, sure. if his story is actually checking out, like you guys have been actually stuck in here for days, maybe the state of perception his jail. Check. This time it's very obvious you're making a perception check, right? Go ahead. Right. I think I see a two. It's 20? a seven. It's a 20. Oh. I rolled a 17 plus my three. Cool. 20. 20. I assume you're happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So you look down and up again. You can actually see, yeah, he's wearing boots. He's wearing simple clothes and so on and so forth. But those boots look strangely familiar. Very similar to the boots that the soldiers were wearing beforehand. And those clothes, they're very simple clothes, but they don't seem to fit him very well. Okay. So me being as... Obvious as I am, I'd probably interject at this time. Those are nice boots you've got. In a very like low tone, uh, I, I don't even think a Taylor would probably like whip her hair, her head back to see like, did somebody come in? Because you probably haven't heard Dorian like this low tone before. Uh, yeah, I'd turn around and you know turn my attention on uh, who he's talking to. Uh, you can roll your perception check as well as you glance him over. And uh, uh, when you mention the boots, um, uh, Dorian. He actually uh, looks down at the boots while he's chewing on a bit of hay and looks back up at you and says, On trade? I quite like mine. And I kind of do like my little, like, I almost kind of like stomp my foot and you hear like a little jingle because I've got bells and shit attached to mine. <laughs> I don't think they would fit me well. He goes, I don't know. What size are you? Uh, don't know. I don't really wear soldier's boots. Too heavy. That's what I was thinking. Oh, well. He looks over at her and he goes, You got good feet? Carried me far enough. What exactly put you in here? Huh. That was a good night. I'm told. Doran would probably walk over to Italia and kind of whisper in a hushed tone. His clothes don't seem to fit him just right. I don't know if anything came from her perception check. She rolled a 13, Scott. 13 wouldn't have noticed it, but when you say that, it points that when you point it out, she of course notices it afterwards. I'd probably just make kind of like a kind of like a not super obvious kind of stroll from one side of the prison to the other side, but it, you know, making that remark. That's pretty obvious, I guess, but I'm just going to go and stand on the other side of the wall and look at him from a different angle, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was gonna insight what he just said. He said it, it was just a pretty good night. Is that what he said? Yeah, pretty good night. At least that's what I'm told. That's what I'm 16. told. I don't know. Right, I can see the 14 up top here. 16 total. Cool. So um, you um, <clears throat> with your 16 total, uh, you believe him. I mean, obviously he's being coy. Hmm. That's his whole personality. 
Scott's character sheet just has boy written. <laughs> That's it? Just the one word? Yeah, yeah. but spelled like the fish. C A R P? Uh, oh, and the prisoner's gone. Damn. How do you do that? Oh. Okay. I got baby. Cover your eyes. Oh, oh, he's oh, back. Oh, my God. He's gone. Oh, my God. God, how do you do that? The whole world is gone. Oh, it's back the again. Hell? The witcher's flaw is like impressed by a peekaboo, just like a baby. <laughs> oh, speaking of babies, I, I found out that if um, while Rory is on the swing set, if I punch her feet like I'm like I'm boxing and I box her feet, I could still just barely get her to do that same kind of like young children of this very specific way that they laugh. I can get her to laugh so close to the way it used to be and it's like the most heartwarming thing it's like if i punch oh. my child she yeah. laughs exactly what in he the just foot. said yeah in the foot you know she loves it oh my god <laughs> all right if i if i if i punch my child oh my god she loves it so much oh my god. Like, god she loves it when i beat the crap out of her whoa whoa <laughs> whoa 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 i didn't that, that explains the punching league. your child throwing her in a leg man what is this <laughs> the bottom of the foot this you know like Bottom of the lake, bottom of the foot. What's the difference? <laughs> Moving on. God. Don't believe me. Ask the fishes. Anyways, if any of you are parents, you know that laugh I'm talking about when they're like less than four years old. They have that laugh. She's five and a half. And I can get her to barely, just barely do that. Laugh. And it's like, oh, she's my baby. Continue. One day you'll, it. you'll spawn things and you'll understand what I mean. It's weird. It's a chemical Stop thing. Condom. We, we don't really salmon. <laughs> One day we'll swim upstream and we'll mate in the waterfall. <laughs> Moving or on. Somebody we'll outside my window. Oh we'll be there to God. fertilize them. Moving on. Keep going. Sometimes Serena, it's really that's... rough being the only parrot around. Serena, and you know, I need to stream last... with Sam again. Mm -hmm. Last thing that he said was that he had a good night. That's what he was told. From what he was told. Okay, yeah. thank you. And you believed him. Okay. Um, is that you all they told to you then? Oh, well, you know, like I said, it was a rough night. I agree. It was a rough night for me, too. Got Am I there? Little... No. God damn it. Got a little drunk. Did some stupid shit. What you gonna do? But not the same stupid shit as... Jesus? Points to the guy behind the other guy oh. in the other cell is what I'm saying. Point it up. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> back. same shit yeah. as God. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? No. Yeah. <laughs> that moron beat the shit out of his grandfather. Looks back. The guy's yep. like. I know a guy who threw his daughter in a lake. Big diff. That family means nothing here. <laughs> Just continues chewing <laughs> hay. Stares at you absently. So you seem to... Uh, do you have many of these rough nights then? Winding you up in places like this? He goes, oh, I get it. You want in. Hey, how about you get me out and we can have a couple of rough nights ourselves. No, no change to her expression. Zero. Can I, um, can I detect thoughts on this guy that's being kind of an asshole? Yeah, of course you can. It's a spell. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PC. I'm actually in the game, Pat. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to detect thoughts on this guy. That's a wall of text. Yeah, it is. Sorry. So first of all, it is a somatic and verbal component. So you have to sit there and be like, pula, kula, or whatever. Yeah, is he problem. a fucking Star Wars alien? <laughs> oh, Pat, I passed. Nice, dude. Way to go. I'll tell you anyway. I'm thinking about Tyler. No <laughs> way! You stole the only D20 in the the only 20 in the game. Well, someone has to be good at this. Might as well be the guy who's sleeping. Yeah, the guy who's not in the combat at all. Hey, we both passed. Does my spell save DC go up after oh, a while? Or... <laughs> oh. You're bleeding. It hurt worse than the semi. Doesn't. 
Spell save DC goes up as I level up, right? And it auto goes up for you in the uh, in the game. Yeah, I checked that too, just to make so, sure it's eight plus so, three plus your charisma, which I'm assuming. What is, is your 16, casting so of the spell, Pat? 14. What is the what is my casting? What does of it? it look like, and so on, so on? Oh, you just see, uh, you just see Dorian, kind of his hands behind his back, kind of leaning up against the wall. His eyes are closed, and he's kind of mumbling to himself. Almost looks a little crazy. The other guy probably can see me a little bit better because I'm motioning with my hands and my fingers, almost doing this Naruto kind of stuff. But I'm making like these kind of these weird hand gestures with my, my fingers and stuff like that. But all my focus is on this one guy in front of me. I'm not even paying much attention to the guy behind me who apparently beat the shit out of his grandpa. I'm mainly focused on the guy that I'm super sus of right now. Totally vented in front of me. Don't believe him at all. Okay. So, he probably uh, can't understand me because of my distance between him. But I'm just you just see Dorian kind of his head's kind of down. Uh and, and he's just mumbling to himself. Okay. And um uh mumbling to himself again, it's not like it's lacking uh noticeable aspects. So like when he right, cast right. spells, it's it's a little obvious. So um you cast your for people that at least understand how magic works, right? So um you cast your spell and um uh he has to make his what's it save? Wisdom saving throw. If target fails, insight into any emotional state, so on and so forth. So they roll that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Would I have to do... Well, I don't think I could do unsettling words, would I? No, you would have said something to him beforehand, like... To be yeah. unsettling. Yeah. So uh, he, uh, I wasn't sure what the DC was, but now I'm looking up and I was like, oh, it's the 14. Uh, so I used the daddy's dice and uh, definitely beat that. How do you have more okay. daddy's dice than we have luck dice? Because what I never get to use them. There? I never get to use them. That's because you either roll really, really good 90% of the time or you roll so badly that it's no point. That's true. Besides, you have nine luck dice, so you're wrong. We didn't. We had like we had nine, like two lucks ago, unless we got more added. You always get more added. Oh. So yeah. noticing, noticing nothing's working, I'd probably just stop. Okay. So uh, you try to do that on him, it doesn't work. He kind of gives you a bit of a strange look, like the first time he actually gave it a, a facial reaction, right? Uh, other than mm -hmm. like the, the kind of mocking one. So he kind of um, gives you like a strange look when you do whatever it was that you're doing. And I like, kind of like point at him, like take the, str the hay out of his mouth and put, gesture towards him and say to Rena, the hell is he up to? Rena probably knowing that I've used this before. Well, would she know? Would you I mean, know? Her like, amulet would trigger when you start casting the spell. Yeah, right, I imagine. But would, would she would know guess. what I'm trying to cast? That's a Arcana check. Uh, okay, I can do that. Because I don't think you've ever been around me when I successfully have done this before. Uh, she was across the way. She wasn't near you when you cast it last time. Uh, Arena would not know what it is, or Atelia would not know what it is. I should say. Okay. Um, so you would you would hear Dorian start mumbling stuff. Your amulet would start shaking. You'd probably notice it's coming from me. And um, he said, "What the hell is he's up? Is he up?" To? Yeah. Um, and then as he says that, you would notice I start I stop mumbling. And I would who, it, wait. I who know, said that? The one that was that the, saw the asshole guy, the coy guy. Hey guy, oh, the guy that, that guy. we're looking at, not the not the depressed. I beat my grandpa. Dude. Not that guy. If anything, I would probably look at you. Mother. You'd probably feel my stare, and I'd kind of give you like a, a no, kind of like it. Whatever I was doing didn't work. Um. Okay, I'd look back to him and say, um, "Well, I asked you a question. Don't worry about him." All right. What's your question? What did you do? I told you. Got a bit rough. I went out drinking, got drunk, apparently my pants came off. Offer still stands. And yet this happens how often? And you expect I, me to believe that you I get, get arrested drunk? every time? I wouldn't say every time. This time, you know, maybe there was a little bit of um, vandalism or some such, or I don't know. Letitia said some shit. I half listened. 
That's a, a lie. I didn't really listen. I mean, honestly, what are they going to do? They've threatened to lock me up and let me out to take back my earnings as a recompense. But <laughs> I ain't earned shit. So, what are they going to do? Take my house. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't got one. So, I ain't going to take my house either. Dorian would speak up after a while of being quiet. You never said where you're from, friend. Here, there. Actually, often here. It's nice. A traveler of sorts, like us. I don't exactly know where you're from. You got a funky accent, but I'm a... I've wandered these lands for many years. Almost cutting them off and just saying, you know. And he goes, well... Fancy Wanderer, I'm just from around. Uh, Doran would make his way towards the door as I kind of walked away from it to kind of cast my spell. I'm going to walk back towards it. Does, is, there, is there a window or anything on the on the door that we came in through? Uh, no, door shuts all the way up. The door's open right now. It's summertime, so you want the cross breeze. Right, right, okay. I'd probably just make a, a passing perception check. I would even take it as a disadvantage as I'm not really like trying to make it obvious that I'm like looking for someone but just doing a passing like is anybody coming or has anybody noticed us? You actually have a passive perception so you can actually roll an active one no disadvantage. Go ahead. Okay. That's 20. Oh, uh, you don't see anybody coming yet. Okay. Again, I would like to make it as if I'm not trying to like we're not gotcha. supposed to be there gotcha. kind of a thing. He's like so, um, you came in asking questions? Didn't even know who you were asking, I guess. What you want? Dorian would truth. almost... Okay, got it. The truth? That's what she says back to him? Well, yeah, you got two swords, and since you turn around, I could see your eyes. I ain't a fool. Everyone knows the stories. And the guy that has his face in his hands kind of picks his eyes up. He's like, What? Oh shit, is that a witcher? Oh shit, is a witcher here to kill me? Oh shit, is a witcher here to kill me? He's like, my grandfather, he didn't pay for a witcher to come kill me, did he? Um. Hey, you say? When neither of you immediately react, he's like, I would probably tell him to calm down. I was looking at spells, if I could like do something to calm him down. No. I would probably, I would walk back over to his cell and just be like, Calm yourself, sir. We're not here for you. Persuasion. We're here to do an investigation. That is all. We're not here for your head or his. Yeah, they're there for the Dalework PC. NPC. Uh, a persuasion. Where is I he? I was kind of a dick. Rolls are pretty lackluster tonight. Like is they're, that an they're auto taking 17? forever. Uh, that'd be that, yeah. Okay, are you happy with your 17? Um... Uh, I'll luck it. Why not? Okay, 20. He calms yeah. down. Quiets up right before he starts yelling, Guards! He's like, oh. mm. Yeah. Okay. My grandpa's here to get... No, no. Just calm down. Okay. He calms down. The other guy's like... But I, I imagine he's still kind of on edge, but yeah. His he's legs finally people. come off the wall and kind of like swing down to the floor as he sits up. And he's like... So I guess that means you're here for me. What you here for? Dorian would kind of act up or say why we're actually there. We had a report of uh, a break-in recently. Guilty. Look at that. I'm serving my time. Dorian wouldn't say anything. I would leave it up to you, Atelia. What, what exactly did you break in for? I was drunk. I don't know. You got pissed like that? You don't remember shit? You telling me you've never been drunk like that? It's not true what they say about witchers. You really believe saying the same thing three times in a row will make me believe it? That I... Now I'm just confused. I told you I want the truth. Shit. <laughs> That's the weirdest sneeze I've ever heard. Dur <laughs> what the hell was that? Sound sounded like Super Mario just saying. Yahoo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like a gnome out there. Stupid little oh, shits. Oh, oh. Listen, the, uh, I don't know what you're trying to ask me, lady, but, uh, I got drunk. I woke up. 
I woke up and honestly, I woke up in a cell. But that's what happens. In clothes that aren't yours. Well, from what I understand, I got a little naked while I was drunk. You really have never seen a drunk person before. You don't and know anybody that's that... ever gotten so drunk they just like ripped their clothes off and did stupid shit? Because this is He chooses too. abstinence. He doesn't drink. So Dorian would speak up. The reports said that a beast attacked this residence. Huh. Or it was beast like. I've been called worse things, I guess. Shouldn't flatter yourself, sir. I travel with a beast. Almost. I, I don't know if that would bring attention to Rena because I don't she what well, was she would she she knows what Ember I guess his dark stuff but I guess she doesn't know that I know <laughs> As she wouldn't she wouldn't react um she'd hear I you travel with she, a beast she wouldn't react right now I know true terror I don't get that vibe from you yet Wait, can you roll almost trying to, to intimidate him to, would that be an intimidation I'm trying to egg him on to give us more information but he's like I don't, I don't know what you're trying to... I don't know what you're at, but... I already told you. I got pissed. Did some stupid stuff. Here I am. He'll let me go in like a week or two. Ain't nothing else they're gonna do. They're gonna do is send me to the real prison. And lock me up for being drunk. Nah. At least I ain't beat the shit out of my grandpa. He says, like, trying to look around you. No, next time they might hire me instead. What, are you hunting people now? Pick that in, Bear. Get fucked. Can I, um... <laughs> hmm. Has Dorian seen that the conversation's kind of... We're not getting any new information. I'm, uh... I, I would just make a subtle, quiet, kind of toned thing to the guy that's freaking out. I just tell him, don't let him get in your head stronger than this and i'd start to walk away and kind of like tap on a ta uh, taylor's arm just being like i'm heading out we've gotten all that we can get as you walk out roll a perception oh check so do you follow with him or do you um do you stay to say any more words just know that i gave you the opportunity to make this peaceful Shit, now he's starting to get me thinking I did something wrong. Except I don't need no... He's, he goes, oh, hold up. Yeah. He goes, hold, hold, hold up a second. Like, are you legitimately on the hunt for me? Because, like, all the stories I ever heard, and I've been in a lot of taverns, are witchers hunt monsters. Now, I, your freak shows and whatnot, sure, but, like, you got your job, and I ain't your job. So why the hell are you in here threatening me? Because we were told that we could find the the very beast that broke in to what the store. I I, this place. I I ain't no beast. All right, listen. Again, maybe he by certain no reputations, maybe by certain reputations, you, you know. But uh, but again, I I no beast. Well, there's only two of you here, and it's not him. Then you got your information wrong. I'm so mad. Why are you so mad, Claw Hands? Yeah, Claw Hands. You can prove to me you're human. I'll leave no more questions asked. The hell does somebody prove that they're human? What kind of even question is that? I don't even know what the, where we even uh, begin I'm with sorry. that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my cool. He's like, I'm I do fine. everything else a human does. I walk. I, I talk. I eat food. I shit into my hand. God, <laughs> get out of here. Okay, Scott, what can I? Catch um, the doo -doo? Obviously, we know it's it's probably. Wait, do we know it's probably a, a werewolf? I don't remember if we talked about that. No, messy. All we know is that it's a beast. Uh, with any yeah, of the. Yeah, never said it. With any of the new information, like the fact that he's not wearing his own clothes or anything, can I roll a monster lore for that or no? Yeah, and then I mean, he can't remember anything. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Something that you roll monster lore for sure. Okay. Mm. Nice little birdie. If you're going to modify it, remember you can do more than just a D4. It's up to you. We only have eight. 
Uh, nine, I think. The argument. You have nine. Yeah. We have nine. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. It was, it was eight. You play, play one afterwards. But she only used a D4 anyways, right? Yeah. So with your 18, you know a, a couple of things about uh, werewolves and whatnot. But um, uh, whether or not they remember, you're pretty sure werewolves know that they're werewolves. Obviously, you know, silver and moonlight and... I oh. just wish I was in there. That's but all. Unfortunately, um, you know, they should they should know that they're werewolves. You know. So you you stand there and he's like, he's like, so how do I prove I'm human? What what the hell do I even do? What does your penis look like? <laughs> Whips it out. He's cutting off the person. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> that would work if Cut. they were human too. Cut, cut off his penis with the silver sword. See what happens. He turns into a snake. And he howls going, in pain. Oh, he's a werewolf. If he screams in pain, he's a human. Rina, you're muted. Thank you. Oh, God. my bad. I said uh, biggest plot twist ever. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, An M. Night Shyamalan twist. twist, dude. Yeah, average uh, size yeah. plot twist. So anyways, average. do you say anything else to him, Rina? Uh, I was saying that uh, I would ignore him and turn back to the other guy like as he's asking that um i don't know if that guy's still paying attention or, or what he's doing yeah he's interested um are you sure you don't have anything else to tell me this is the guy with the hands in the face yeah it was like the guy that i thought was lying it was more than just my grandpa i mean he's the one that needed to you know but there's also her brother and, and a cousin. Like, there was a brawl. I beat some ass. Um, you know, I, I, I was... can't stop killing people. <laughs> Nobody died. He was like, I beat some ass. I mean, I it was. <laughs> I found out some shit and I, I reacted. I, it was a bad reaction. I'm just happy that somebody stopped me when I grabbed the knife. Was it a knife every time? Oh, dagger, he says. What was it? It was a knife every time? Wait, what do you mean by every time? Like every every within every instance, because he said because he said it was his grandfather. Now I he's think he was it's his just other family up a bunch one of incident. Yeah. He, oh, in one yeah, incident. Was, oh, yeah. okay. He was a straight. He, he was his grandfather is a weapon. And what, no, did, my hand, what did man. they say? Hmm? What did they say to you? To him? Uh, yeah, he, I'm asking him. It was well, you know, I found out that she's been getting around, and I. Got a little loud, and they got in my face because they thought I was too loud, and I started swinging. That made you mad enough to attack your own family? They were the your ones family not my, involved? They were the ones getting in my face. This is... I, th I explained this already to the guard. You seemed pretty concerned that we might be here for you. Once you found out I'm a witcher. Well, yeah, I, I... Grandpa was in a pretty rough state. And your grandfather... Got money? Human? It's a weird question, but yeah. Checks You're like the ears. world's strangest witcher where you're just going in and you don't believe anybody in this jail. Uh, why, why, uh... They're like Why the bother sending a witcher You're after the bad human. guy. He's like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Witchers hunt down people. The other guy's like monsters, you idiot. This one's just confused. Killing people, hunting things, the witcher business. There's a lot of rumors about witchers. So. Uh, Pat, uh, you actually see that there's um, um, uh, three people starting to come down a road, uh, on horseback, wearing armor. I probably would have gone back to M. Bear by now. Hmm? Bear's that. lost I... all of his money playing Gwent. It's been 30 minutes and he's broke. Yeah, how am I doing? Terribly. Did I roll for that? We will. Okay. I probably would have relieved you at this point. I mean, it's only been like a minute or two in conversation, but... I, I mean, after let... that, I, I'd probably leave. Okay. Okay. Stealth as you make your way around. Stealth for me or Wait. her? Her. 
before we go today, can we roleplay my side of things? Because I have some stuff to do. Oh. Mm. Okay, I guess. Great, right. right. and Bear has roll. another one of his uh, uh, explosions. <laughs> Maybe. You cannot roll high today, Wade. My dreams weren't very good. Yeah. No. Okay. So, um, uh, Messi, you're sitting there and the cards are out on the table. Yep. Yeah, you your deck on the table. Yep. Your yep. deck yep. on the yep. table. Yep. Your big old dreams are bad. And Bear's pee pee's out. Yep. You got the full deck on the table. Your huge so deck on the table. He has his deck on the table. Coins. Too. There's a huge, huge fork deck. on the table, too. Big old fork on the table. He has fork so on the table. Up. Ten coins. And um, as he, I'll let him teach me the game. But um, while we're playing and I'm like thinking of my moves, I will ask him questions. But what do I need to roll to see how well I do in the game part? Yeah, it's just rolling Gwent. You're not proficient, are you? No, I don't have... I mean, I don't know. I think... Isn't your Gwent deck a plus one, Patrick? I don't know. Did you get a good card? I thought you got a good card at the very beginning. I thought I did too, but I don't know how to change that. Would this be... What What do I roll this in as an I don't attribute? know if he did, did he? I thought I did. Oh, yeah, you Is guys found one pretty early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys we got one, one good on. card. Yeah. So, what, um, what, what would I roll? Can I just... No, 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 he he knows what it would be. So he, he rolls okay. Gwent, so he's just going to add a, a one modifier to it. He knows how. You're not proficient. You just want me to roll disadvantage? No, or... no, 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 no. You're just not proficient. So hold up one second. I got to, um, because of the oh, way so that. So it's just a D20 plus one? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and Bear, <laughs> it goes into your toolkit, just like any other game or whatever. It goes yeah, into but I don't, okay. I'll just add a game then. Yes, called Gwent. Yeah. That's G W E N T. Uh, it's like went with a G in front. Items playing card set. How do I roll it though? I have to add it to my tool proficiency to make it not proficient. Yes. Okay. So whatever oh, your just, proficiency is, just you just it remove it. Yeah. You remove um a three for your uh, proficiency, but you get a plus one, so you're gonna remove only a two. So you're minus two under the modifier here. Ah, uh, on the mods. Okay, I see. Yep. And then okay. for attribute, you're going to put, um, for you, it's probably intelligence, right? Dexterity yes. if you're trying to cheat, intelligence if you're trying to str uh, strategize. Well, I'm trying to learn the rules, so I guess for intelligence strength for the if you're first doing a round. thumb war. Okay. So I don't even go. know how to cheat yet. All right. Uh, and then okay. if you're saying your character has never played before, then you're also going to yeah. roll a disadvantage. That's, that's what I thought. Okay, okay, okay. So roll, so it is a 1d20 plus, or minus 2. With disadvantage. See how I do. Five. Why is it a plus one? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, it's a plus the card, one. The deck's a plus one. The... Yeah, duh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't do that? well in my first game at all. That was okay. this. Sorry. Nope. Oh. Um, it's best out of three, though. Because there's three rounds of Gwent. There's three rounds. Yeah. Why are you rolling okay. disadvantage? Well, I missed that. Because he's never played I'm, before. My first time playing. Go ahead. Now he's okay. played before, so only his first um, game disadvantage, right? No. First first whole hand. Go ahead. Well, after the first so round, first as we're like... Game. Oh, oh, wait. oh, sorry, you want to RP. You don't, Go ahead. You don't like... Do you shuffle after every... I can't remember how you play Gwent. Do you shuffle mm -hmm. after every round? No, no you just keep pulling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so after the first round, as he, like, draws his cards and he's looking at his hand, he'll say, um... So the, um... The, the prisoner, when, um... What was he like when you guys got him? I was... Honestly, it was, he, he goes, it was a mess, man. You should have seen it. That poor guy, he was in such a state. And then uh, I'll play my hey, hand here. Give the raid. Ooh, thank you. Do you guys want to know how to cheat at a thumb war? You Use poke, someone else's thumb. in the belly button. You go one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. I use this hand to masturbate, and then they let go. I'm sure Pull you did that all the time. Right? That was a cyanide and happiness uh, panel. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> one, one, baby. Okay. Cool. Might not lose 10 coins. That'd be really awesome. I doubt it, but that'd be really awesome. Go ahead. Um, okay. So after this hand, you know, he, he's looking at his next. Uh, he draws his cards to look at his hand again and he says, um, um, I heard, uh, I heard he left the place in quite a state. Um, he 
dead. Anyone else? Anyone else injured in this? Um, I think it was four people injured. Mm. Yeah, I mean, again, it was yeah. a good thing. It's a good thing we had, uh, 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 what is it, Lucius with us. He's uh, a trained medic. He was able to help him out, uh, help each of them out. But, uh, and the old guy, I honestly, I was surprised with how much blood was on him. He was going to make it, but apparently he's a tough, tough bastard. I guess money See, helps rage well. The old guy, is he, um, do you have him or is he still in town? No, no, he's back at his, he's back at his place with the family and whatnot, you know. We'll let it go. That's good. That's good. It's quite the quite the scene. Fuck. Got this. Oh! <laughs> hey. And a natty one. Let's I think that means you use like you lose like a special card, right? That's gotta mean you lose like a special card. Come hey, on. That's two you to lose one. Like a special this, that's card. You got some really good card, but it's been. Unlucky I mean, if, for you. if, if it was the first, it. if it was the first or second hand, I'd allow that to count as two losses. But, yeah. but, uh, but the third, the final one, he's your winning anyways. So that, that that wasn't on the table prior, right? So right, yeah, right. You, that that technically does have to be ahead. You're yeah, right, you're previously right. done. Yeah, so he he like, it kind of he loses like handedly, and it's just like, oh, shit. Mother, yeah, he's, he's got like, cards. Not so lucky. Now he wants to get rid of it. He's just like, here, take this. He gets up and starts walking, <laughs> uh, walking away from the table for a minute. You say anything? Does he leave his coin? No. The, the coin he anteed? No. He, do you say anything? Did he ante coin? Yeah, you both it, had to ante. It, it wasn't coin. on the table, but oh. do you say anything? Well, I guess while I'm taking my coin back, I'd be like, hey, um. I thought you said the ante was 10. Yeah, 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 I know. He walks over to one of the other guards, he goes, whacks him, and he goes, hey, you still owe me from last week. I, no, now. And the guy actually hands him over, you know, seven coins. And then he walks over and to, to another one of the guards and goes, hey, can you spot me? <laughs> <laughs> the other guard hands him over two coins, rolling his eyes, and he walks over and he hands you down 10 coins. And he's like, never played That was only nine. My Is ass. it at this point that I he come out? And, like, he, he hands over all 10 coins. Yeah, he had one with him. So, anyways, he goes never played before my ass. He's like, I'm. That's oh, true. You know, it's you yeah, know, it's yeah. actually against the law to lie to a guard. I believe you. I, I should I, have you in manacles for that shit. Uh, believe it or not, I I studied medicine, not really cards. So this is. Yeah, not. I choose yeah. not to believe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Wow, you really um, got yeah not. <laughs> One of the other guards actually was watching. What? One of the other guards was watching, but he was standing from like behind you and watching. And he you goes, "Smell bad." He goes, "I'll, I'll, I'll play you." Oh, I'm sure. I guess I can offer up the coin I won. That's what you want. Double or nothing. No. Double or nothing. Uh, sure. Yeah. I, why not? He goes, "Good." No. It comes over. So if I lose, nothing tech. happens. I get to keep the my. My 10 that I ante. <laughs> but if I win, then I get 20? You, so basically, I'd give the I'd give him 10 back. Yeah. Out of the 10 I just won. So it's just a regular game. Yep. Okay. All right. Just oh. checking. All right. If you lose, you absolutely don't lose anything. You 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 gain and back 10 up where I started. Yeah. 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 So, so there, there's no checking. negative to this to this duel. Yeah. Uh, you sit sure down. Come sit. You spend a minute kind of like looking over your cards or whatever it is. I imagine kind of like buying time for you to be able to. Figure out what it is you got to do. You can lose a disadvantage for this check now. You actually won a game. So um, wow. he says, he sits down and nice. do you say anything as you start to do the first roll? Do you want to do it after the first roll? Um, is it is it good sportsmanship to shake hands? He shrugs. I can shake your hand. Five, six, seven, eight. I use this hand. <laughs> my, my name's in bear, by the way. He uses his hand to have claw hands. He says, Tomas. Hardy. And he goes, why do you care about that guy anyways? As he starts putting out his cards. Oh, I am. Um, the, the reason I'm with them is I actually used to uh, used to work for, for the lady. In lady? a sense. It's a good friend. Hey, lady, oh. he says. Go ahead and roll your uh, check. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Nice. Watch him nat 20. You happy with that Went roll? Two rounds back to back. I oh, know. 
Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm happy with that roll. Even a sleeper beats the Witcher. That's crazy. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good deck. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> I rolled a, a D6 and I still lost it. Damn it. <laughs> wow. Jesus okay. Christ. You really wanted to win. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. He, 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 after he's a beat, he's like, shit. What lady are you talking about? You talking about his wife? No, I'm, I'm talking Chundle, about um, Chundle? Lady Chundle. Uh, yeah, Lady Trundle. Um, lady Grundle. Truffles. Lady Grundle. Wait, Lady Grundle? What the hell are you talking about? One of the other guys goes, he's talking about the other guy. I was like, what? Oh. Oh, I thought you were talking about the one that beat the shit out of his family. The, you know, the, the captain of the guard, the, the, the second of the guard's like, yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about, too. Oh, no. Is that really the talk of the group here? Not well, the yeah, one who the that... hell beats the shit out of their grandfather? That's true, but, like, uh, it's not really Witcher's business, is it? What Witcher? Right. So, the Lady Grundle, um... The, the one that she wanted us to investigate. What do you, what do you know about them? Is it the same person? I Play your next hand. Not. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh. Bro, oh. come on. <laughs> you don't want to win too quickly, they'll stop talking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that d4, Scott. Uh, fuck, dude, I don't know. Uh, a tie. A tie? It's a tie? Hey, let Messi okay. roll like yours. Messy. No, it's too late. M messy, let's roll uh, D100 for who, who breaks okay. the tie. All right. I thought it always goes to player. Yeah, but we're playing Gwent. You want to go yeah, first? Yeah, Scott wants to win. So I know it's a B? Yeah, I know Scott wins. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. There you go. I have to beat an 11. <laughs> I got a 4. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What? Okay, you. you oh oh wow. my god! <laughs> I have to beat an wow. eleven. He says. Wow. It's a you didn't There's an eighty-nine percent uh, chance I win that. You didn't wow, expect that. Cheesy a, Butler uh, rolled a hundred in chat. What did you? Uh, oh. What did you roll, Messi? Sorry, what did you say last, Messi? Um, oh god. What do you know about the uh, the one I'm obviously trying to talk about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, that one. He goes. He goes. Um, Is that an interesting story? Um, I mean, it can't he, be as interesting as the grandfather beating. But he goes honestly. That ass gets drunk all the time. I I think it's about. I think it's about time we have him properly tossed away. I mean, so many times we've had to hold him here, weeks at a time, trying to make him learn his lessons, sober him up, shit like that. But he just always finds himself. I mean, granted, this is the worst one ever, but, you know, what you gonna do? A drunk's a drunk's a drunk, huh? If you're right about that. Roll your die. Um, actually, it's it's cards, but yeah, sure. Um, maybe that's why you're... What? You didn't hey, listen. The first, hand. the first version of Gwent. The first version oh, of Gwent was fuck. actually. It's the, fine. Fir the first version of Gwent was actually dice. It was actually, if you played the first Witcher oh. game, it was actually dice poker. Or poker dice, or whatever they called it. It wasn't oh. actually Gwent yet. I came out in the second game. You guys look weird. Mm. <laughs> Thank God, wait. Well, you won fair on that one. Here's the 10 coin back. He takes the captain's 10 coin. Uh, takes it back, and he's like, "Thanks, I needed a raise." He says, like <laughs> slyly looking over towards the captain a little bit. Not the captain, Wait, but you know the second man. Up. And so he says to you, um, "You call me a dickhead?" Yeah, but anyways, he um, <laughs> uh, short version is, <laughs> short version <laughs> is he um, he got drunk, made a fool of himself, got arrested. Hmm. Well. That sucks. Yeah. Found him naked, though. That was weird. Hmm. Imagine it's not this time where you see, like, uh, what is it, Dorian kind of, like, stomp back into camp. I imagine this am yep. amount of time is yep. allotted, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Am I coming back, too? You know, my, um, my friend here is actually much better at the game than I am. Um, why don't... Maybe we can make the stakes more interesting, and we'll both ante up ten. I won't lie. Another ground sounds good, but oh, never mind. Nope, 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 nope. And he kind of like stands up. They quickly start putting away cards and whatnot. And you guys look around as you see three horse, you, three people. On I was gonna say before that even happens, mm -hmm. I would probably just make a low gruntled like cough, kind of like trying to get Messi's and er, Bear's attention. 
Yeah. Like obvious three people behind me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, that must right. be who we're looking for. Um, thank you, boys. And with that, why don't we end the stream? So. Oh, we were just trying to play D&D &D in the last half hour. Let's do our <laughs> outro. That was a long podcast. Wow. Um, why don't we start with, um, well, anybody have anything special coming up? I got hit by a truck. Uh, two things. Wait, that's the past. Had something special coming up? Finding out about my car. <laughs> I do want to thank everybody things. who came out to Wade and I's charity stream and donated Ooh, and stuff yeah, this last fun. weekend. Thank you. We, was there a total value or is it still going? Still going. I think between oh, okay. Wade and I and Molly, we all raised over like, what was it, like 35, 40K almost? Just between our oh, three yeah, streams. Dude. Over 30 at least, yeah. Wait, like I know you were like 16 or 17K. I ended out at like 16K. I think I was right around 16. Yeah, 16 so. or Damn. Thank you, everybody awesome. who donated. I know Tyler was also... Yeah, I, I, I have to I have to trust. Steve's as a cat over maybe. uh five hundred and almost six hundred thousand, I think. No? Yeah, I think we're close to six hundred thousand. Yeah. I could double check while we're doing outros. Closing the gap. Sweet. His, well, uh, when's his it birthday? Something like September fifteenth or September, something. September. Like yeah. As of right now, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't no, know the we'll... birthday of anybody on here, but because his birthday is in September, I'll remember it. As of right now, the entire event has five hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars, almost five hundred sixty-eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Wow. When does it end? September. September. Oh, it goes till September. Okay. Yeah, his birthday. Whatever his birthday is a week from September. Saturday. What? My birthday is a week from this Saturday. What? Oh. My birthday is a week from this Saturday. What? Wait, do you know what happens in D and D campaigns when it's your birthday? My birthday is not during the D and D campaign. You cry if you so want to. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't matter. Trill, doesn't you get matter. it the week of. Whatever her name. Trini is not coming back. You get it the week of, Wade. Trini's always coming. She's good like that. I'm taking You're the week get a off surprise. You get a surprise item voted on by chat, I think. I don't know how no, it works I'm take, here. I have a little stint on the <laughs> no, we just right threw now. We're going to make it a now. permanent thing if it. Trini comes back. Wait, you get a permanent stat boost. Plus one to all stats. Hey, hey there you birthday. go. For the for permanent. Not worth the cost. Will the chat vote? <laughs> They'll have five things to choose. One of them Anything might be good Trini. I get is not worth the cost. No, you won't the get The cost Trini. of getting older, yeah. You, you won't get well, Trini. After your birthday, no, will you require Trini us to or call Trini you Lord Wade? No, no, well, nothing like it. So that one, nothing like it. My bad, chat. That was another. <laughs> nothing, not, nothing like that. But if you do oh, want to yeah. ever play in Aurora, we do have Commander Barbara Barnes. Mm, She's actually true. very important to uh, the very important. Side. The yeah. Tyler, Messi, and Rena's story. Barbara Barnes is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you realize that was going to happen when you made her, Scott? Because you named her pretty dumb. <laughs> I named her intentionally, Barbara Barnes. Okay. I, I oh, knew God, she was... Barbara was one, too. Yeah. <laughs> the goddamn librarian. Yep. Can't forget about Barbara, dude. Barbara the librarian bards. <sighs> there you go. That's Wade. I, everyone Wade, where can they me. find you? Nowhere. Don't look for me. Leave me alone. Where can they find you drinking soda and throwing up? My YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's YouTube channel. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, I don't throw up on any of them. My bathroom. Yeah, way doesn't throw up yet. Yeah. JP threw up first, which caused me to throw up. Yeah, it was bad. How many different times have you guys gotten sick or someone gotten sick during an episode? Twice. Just twice. Just two? Did anyone get sick? Two out of the three. Oh, no. I always spat it out. I remember I'd take like one or two bites and my... I don't think I've ever thrown up from being boozled. I've just not eaten the rest <laughs> of the did. fucking shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike got real sick. We yeah, did a charity stream, and Mathis uh, ate some beans and didn't handle them so well. That was awful, uh, listening to him, like, gag every time. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that wasn't, that you, wasn't uh... exaggerated, either. He's He really does have a little bitch stomach. Uh, yeah, I believe you. Uh, Plus he, well, I mean, he did fly, and he was eating shitty food, because, you know, whatever. Yeah, anyway. So did I. And the rest of us, we at least walked to Florida. Yeah, well, yeah, you get boated. <clears throat> there you go. Rena, how can we find you? Why do we care? Uh, well, I'm Rena well, the Destroyer. the yellow pages, you can find her in there as Rena space the Destroyer. The Destroyer, yeah. Have absolutely. you ever torn a yellow pages in half? It looks really hard, but people could apparently There's ways do that you really can easily. do it. There's, magicians have shown that there's a way that you can just break Too the Too bad they don't exist anymore. That's a skill you'll never magicians be able to learn. Magicians don't exist anymore? 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Tear the yellow book. Rena, how can we find you? Why do people care? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and the destroyer under the yellow pages. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we are white pages? actually the yellow pages. The yellow, white pages. That's what I said. Yellow pages. Okay. Yellow pages. Uh, Messi and I white pages have a huge is a business. fight coming up on Friday in Regicide, huh? and then oh yeah, yeah, a boss fight and finish yeah, on Friday. One. It's actually pretty intense. It um, is pretty intense. It's an anime fight. It's great. And then next week we're starting uh, something really cool. Yeah, it's it's super cool. It's our <laughs> it's our Pokemon Platinum uh, Soul Link Nuzlocke run. Which is pretty oh, that's such a fucking mouthful. I know, but we, we gotta find a way to shorten else. it. It's our Soul yeah. Link uh, Nuzlocke. There's so many it rules. That. It's insane. Yeah, it's a lot. Our of rules. Soul Link run. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what we call it. Anyway, um, yeah, we're starting that next week. Uh, we just got like a you know layout and stuff done um yeah we so oh be on God, the lookout for that time. it's pretty yeah it's pretty sick i'm pretty it excited about it it's gonna be really <laughs> fun i know i think so so that should be really cool um so yeah look out for that you were Next formerly week. our witcher but cheesy butler's taking over your spot because he beat me three times after i beat tyler three times and kicked rena's ass cheesy and, butler uh, probably be a better witcher than, than i am so <laughs> it's fine it's all right it's good. How you doing i roll better than me Messi, what are you up to aside from the Pokemon thing? Oh, he retweets uh, all of Rena's tweets on uh, Pokemon thing. Is he still doing that? That's uh, creepy, bro. I don't think so. I don't think so. Unfortunately, I've not gotten any Rena updates in a while. Yeah. Sorry, bro. I'll I'll, I'll start up Messi. again. <laughs> I'll start <laughs> the Rena podcast. <laughs> oh my uh, hey, my daily Rena updates. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, it's March twenty fifth, two p.m. <laughs> Nothing new from Rena. I did reach out Rena's to her several times. Rena's at work times. currently. <laughs> at work, yeah. Hire yeah, Messi. No she she got a nice coffee. Media person, Rena. Are you eating a salad your, right your now? social media person, and you can change your name to Rena the Employer. <laughs> <laughs> She's got those dice are broken. Destroying Extreme. unemployment one person at a time. <laughs> okay, um, sorry. Um, yeah, so the, the, one the Pokemon stream, it's really fun. See, the thing about the Pokemon stream, because I do want to bring this up. Have you, Scott, do you know, what, just because you're kind of a boomer, do you know what a Nuzlocke is? A Nuzlocke? Nuzlocke. Yep, that's exactly Pokemon. what he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nose so a Nuzlocke I think I saw Muhammad Ali do that once. A, what? what? <laughs> a Nuzlocke is when, is when uh, if your Pokemon faints, you have to let it go. You can't use it anymore. So yep. you, uh, you have to return it to the wild. No matter yeah, what it is. Return to the well. Or you can put yeah, it in a okay. graveyard. The Pokemon that I was obsessed with and beat like tons of times was red, yeah. blue, and so, yellow. I never imagine playing. I, I played red, a bit of blue, green, yellow, and green. I never played anything Leaf past green? those. Like these crystals right. and diamonds. It, listen, and, no, you know no, no, how no, a Pokemon no. faints imagine. when its health goes to zero? Yeah. Every single time that happens, you have to release the Pokemon and you have to get a new Even one. Even if it's your starter. Why? Because that's, that's a luck. That's to the make the game made for five-year-olds challenging. No, thank you. Because after Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, Pokemon games got really excuse easy. Me, excuse me. When I play Pokemon, my my Pokemon trainer's name is Michael Vick. Okay, and I win those. Oh fights. Jesus! I'm, fuck. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah. So a Soul Link then is when you catch a Pokemon in a certain area, because you can only catch one Pokemon per area. By the way, that's part of the Nuzlocke. When you catch your one Pokemon per area. Whatever your partner, your co-op partner catches, become linked. So if one of those Pokemon faints, regardless if it's your Pokemon or their Pokemon, you still have to let yours go. Mm -hmm. So it makes it double harder, because now not only are you balancing yourself, you also have to check in with your partner and be like, hey, so we're coming up on Cynthia, and I've noticed that you're using a level 5 uh, Togepi. Clefairy. I don't know if that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah, I'm facing with that. And you're like, yeah, but it, it's linked to my level 100 Star Raptor, and, I, and it's, <laughs> that, that's the game. So, yeah, it's fun. Um, so I'm really it excited It actually to genuinely that. sounds like a really cool challenge. It is. No. And Pokemon Platinum is apparently one of the hardest Nuzlocke's to do because it has, like, these big difficulty jumps. So um, I've seen people have done runs up to 20 times, and they haven't been able to do it. Um, and each run can take the, the minimum, sorry, the median run time in Pokemon Platinum is 35 hours. So we're looking at a long Pokemon run. The goal <laughs> is to beat it by the remakes, which is the Diamond and Pearl remakes, which is what Platinum's based on. The Diamond and Pearl remakes at the end of the year. So the goal is to get it done in like six months. So we'll see. 
Um, so we're doing it weekly, a couple hours a week, and uh, we'll build, make our way there. But we're making a few things to make it easier on ourselves, so make sure you check it out. We'll go over all the rules and everything there. It's going to be really fun. And uh, yeah, but sadly... Game Genie. Our, our Game Shark, you mean? Yeah. Well, the same thing, I guess. Do so you think yeah. you're going to have a long run? I think you'll be dead early. Uh, it'll be many short runs and then one long run, hopefully. I had late night fast food. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but sadly, I my our, hand too. Uh, you guys <laughs> no, get out of here! Oh my this god! This is the hand I catch my shit with. Um, <laughs> oh okay. On, uh, on Mondays, on Mondays we were playing Dark Souls. We were doing co-op Dark Souls run, and uh, my I got banned. I can't play Dark Souls online anymore. Why, so, Ezra? Because I downloaded a mod and I was doing a modded run of Dark Souls and I left this modded character saved on my profile and I deleted everything and I went back to the original Dark Souls because I wanted to play it online and I never deleted that modded character and it got banned. So my account's banned. Oh, um, so but I deleted... To mod things. Play the games as I... they were designed. Modding is not... I'm just kidding. I actually like modding for this. I'm about to shoot you. Like, Sky Sky <laughs> Skyrim's a trash game unless you're mod, so, you know, what are you going to do? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm mad that I got banned for it, but I deleted my modded character and they say it can take up to like two to three months for them to repeal bans because they go through and they'll hit whatever your newest character save shit was. They'll ping it and be like, oh, yep, everything looks good. And they'll unban you. I'm, I'm hoping that happens, games, but though. I don't know. I streamed Fallout 4 and Gar had me mod it. And, well, Gar helped me mod it. Fallout 4 say. modded is so fun. Yeah, but I, actually, game I was streaming so it and I actually added a mod that turned like half the, well, the town's residents into prostitutes. They were walking around <laughs> and showing way more than that. I had to like stare up at the sky as I walked through that city where you meet Valentine. <laughs> he, was too, awesome. he was afraid of seeing the cream pie. So why don't we go um, and... Uh, and oh, wait. Uh, we're, gonna raid we're doing a stream Saturday with oh, Cirella Cat. We're doing a, a garlic phone. So let's watch garlic that Garlic phone? Too. Gardic. Gardic. Sorry. Gardic. Gardic. Gartic. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Another oh, Gardic phone stream this weekend. Go there. Molly we got a lot going there. on. I might be joining. Is yeah, Molly I think Molly's that? there. I think so. Yeah, I, I think she's there. Yeah, there I'm pretty sure. That. I don't know. Maybe I'll be there. So maybe you'll see us all there, except for Wade. <gasps> I mean, shit, except for Scott. Josh. Maybe Wade. Yeah, Saturday. Josh is going to be there? No, sorry. We're rating Josh. Oh, we're rating Josh. We're rating on funny one, the one that made the API for that we use for the luck and all that stuff. Uh, we're rating that person, so let's have go rate Josh. Stinky pinky, everybody. Scott, well, we don't have a stinky pinky, so I'll I'm gonna plug my. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, busy. I'm gonna she plug was busy myself. Dying in Dark Souls, Scott. I'm gonna I plug am. myself with my stinky pinky, everybody. All right. Okay. Twitch TV says no, I mean, like, Watch you plug oh, myself yeah, with my stinky pinky. Yep, watch bye, bye, bye. it. Finally, I can turn off my filters. Jeez. I hope they can't hear us anymore, man. I'm gonna go poop. <laughs>